Welcome back. We are live from the Blue Dolphin Lounge. I'm Billy. Yes, Moon. yes. Welcome to the woodshed. Welcome back from a long break. We took a little long bit break. of a hiatus, if yeah. you will. A little vacation time. Vacation we hope time. Everybody else had a great Memorial Day weekend. Especially those of you all that are watching us on Ustream. Thanks for watching. Welcome Thanks back to watching. the woodshed. For those yeah. of you all that are going to catch this uh, clip on YouTube, that you can go to ustream.com. And search the woodshed. It's actually the dash wood dash shed. But Doc, if they just search the woodshed, it's going to pop up, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes. So you can find us there, and we will be recording uh, every Wednesday. Sometimes a little earlier, sometimes a little later. Uh, it's mm. God, it's been so long since we've been I back know. together. <laughs> Twenty after is not I'm that glad. bad. I had a good vacation, man. We, uh, you know, it was my my girl and I's five year anniversary. No, Congratulations. Congratulations! Yeah, it was amazing. Where does Tom go? I can't believe it's been that that long so quick. You know, that's yeah. a sign of you're in a good relationship, yes. I think, is that it, it went so well. When you look back over the time, and it's been, got five years, 60 months. I know. 60 months. And that yeah. doesn't really sound that long, Speaking actually. of time that's flying. Weird. Yeah. This is episode 10. Months. Episode 10. Wow. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Hell yeah. I'm happy to be Those here, Those of guys. you all that are new to the woodshed, um... First thing we like to do is just thank a couple of, uh, I guess we'll call them our indirect sponsors, right. friends of mm-hmm. ours, people are uh, tunnel through from us to you, a little glimpse of what happens in the woodshed because right. of you stream and Ustream. because of YouTube where we load our clips. Yep. You can go to the woodshed podcast on YouTube, YouTube and... We'll pop right up. You know what? The, what is helping us a lot with a lot of the views is people that are subscribing to us on Facebook mm-hmm. are posting our videos from YouTube to Facebook. Just Facebook. It's cr- Facebook is important. Posting. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, go to Facebook very important. and type in the woodshed and search for us. It's it's a group yeah, it's name just, you know, for the it's, podcast. It's real easy, right? You can and find subscribe us out to there. it on Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook. Yes, like my mom is on Facebook. Yes. Does your mom um, subscribe she, to the show? Oh yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. It, any pointers? You know, like Ben needs to uh, work on his posture. <laughs> Mostly for me. Yeah, She's I can a, understand that. Yeah. No, well, she, she thinks that, you're hilarious. Tell her that Billy's the star. Exactly. You know? Yeah. She, I am Billy no Mitchell. Mistake. Right. He is Billy Mitchell. She has a hard time calling me Doc. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, now that you are, um, you know, a board certified physician, she really has no choice. And, and I'm really glad you're off probation now. It's Congratulations really that to that, that too. The board gave you back your license. <laughs> five <Fantastic>. years. <laughs> five five years. The longest right penalty the time in that history. You started dating this girl who for, is on the board. Huh, yes, that's very interesting. 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 It's all coming together now, yeah. Doc. It's 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 miraculous how that'll change a person, huh? You know what you should do is send a tweet out about it. So you can also follow us on Twitter. Twitter at the woodshed underscore. Right. We'll tell you all about the show. Well, who's going to be on there? Upcoming guests. Speaking of guests, we've got a very special guest here to the Yeah. Welcome back to the WAD. The WAD is back, ladies In and gentlemen. In the house. Hey, folks. Let's give him a big round of applause. Big Listen warm to that. Yeah. Welcome. I like that. Listen. Yeah. Listen. And Listen. So, like uh, are we done with all the, the thank yous already? Let's see. Let's run down the list. We YouTube, and Twitter, and, and Facebook, and yeah. uh, uh, Ustream, of course. Don't, don't forget Ustream. Correct. Right. There we go. Christ. Christ. Ustream is what's making this possible right, right now. So it's bringing right. us to your living room or your kitchen while you're chopping broccoli or while you're out on the patio grilling some sausages. Sausages. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I would like to thank uh, something important to me is that I found out they have Diet Code Red Mountain Dew. I like that. What? Yeah. I, I like the Code Red Mountain Dew. And, you know, I'm trying to drink diet drinks. Right, yeah. See, no I, sugar. Get away from the, the, right. the corn but sugar. But I know, right, I know right. the uh, the alternative to that is the chemicals. Right. But I I want to get my soda fix. I got you. And you know, so, I swear I was under the impression that that, diet pr- that, Code Red Mountain that Dew. product already existed. I didn't know no, it did. No. I, didn't, I saw that they had the regular stuff. But you know, diet stuff? One of my favorite drinks, just in general, at, at soda, is... Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah. It for the longest time I drank it because I, I liked it. I knew, you know, I had that 
you know, oh, it's diet, so it's not bad, right? You know, I don't mentality. know. Mentality. I, right. I can't. I can't drink and, diet drinks. Oh, I know. I'm making a sacrifice when I drink it. Just. I know. I know. And I'm. I'm not trying to give you a hard time about nah. it, but. Actually, but I think you are trying you'll, to you'll quit. Hard time. You'll quit when you want to quit. It'll happen if you want to quit. You know? Right. It's like when you stop chewing tobacco. You know, when you were ready. You gotta make. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta be. Gotta be ready for it. That's that's what it comes down. I to. can't drink diet drinks. They all taste like cancer to me. <laughs> there's like well, that weird chemical <laughs> aftertaste that's just it under tastes your, like cancer. Could it, it, could it be like when you to me. could it be when you pop the can, a little skull and crossbones like vaporizes <laughs> out of the top of the can? <laughs> this, is, this is bad for you. <laughs> I mean, it's coming for say, you, Billy. Uh, the way, uh, yeah. <laughs> the way a McDonald's Coke. <laughs> I'd probably freak out if that happened. <laughs> First thing you, in the morning. You would stop. You would stop. Everything should be like in a I'm cartoon. Not, I'm not drinking this. <laughs> Everything should be like in a cartoon, you know? I couldn't imagine. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine. I, I, I try not to. <laughs> a McDonald's Coke the first thing in the morning is delicious. So it is. We'll good say stuff. thank you to that. I mean, it burns all the way down. It burns so good. Awesome. So that's uh, thank you to everybody that makes that possible. Yeah. And, of course, to our viewers out there. Yes. Yeah. Check it out. It's not. We're we're just sitting here jocking each other off without you guys watching well, us jock each other some off. Some people would say that's what we're doing. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. That's not what we do when you're not watching. <laughs> don't that's get right. any ideas. Kick it off. Episode 10. Yeah. No, the we did not record that. The Woodshed. Yeah. Yeah. I woke up this morning with the sundown shining in. I found my mind in a <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming to you live from the beautiful Blue Dolphin Studios and Lounge. I am Billy Mitchell. With me, as always, Dr. Beauvoir. Doc, how the hell are you? I'm doing great. I hope everybody else had a great vacation. Welcome back. Had a fantastic vacation. I'm really glad we have... The Wad back in town. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, the Wad. The Wad's here. The Wad, Wad never left town. Well, you, fellas, we just, you fellas took a little trip, didn't you? Though? Yeah. You, say. you didn't that, leave town for vacation? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I took okay. I took the Friday off. I got the four-day weekend. Right. I was able to do that. And just, just hung out with the kids and the, the fam, you know? Good stuff. Right. It's a stuff. beautiful thing when you can just take a little time. Hang out, relax. Right, right. I mean, we went on quite an adventure, but, you know, that's not an every... Every vacation, your right. your your trip was uh, quite, uh, yeah. You you had a pretty good one that for a for a three day. How long did you guys wind up taking off? Let's see. Uh, I was off. Uh, technically, I did not work for almost two weeks. That's wow. that's nice. You took you almost took the, the mm-hmm. like a ten day thing mm-hmm. there. That's mm-hmm. nice. That's, that's nice. pretty good. With the uh, Memorial Day mm-hmm. weekend, mm-hmm. you had a mixing had a, in had there. an extra day there, three day mm-hmm. weekend to go. Took advantage of it. Yeah, do that. Saw the Gulf Coast. I love the beautiful. Gulf Coast. Awesome. I wanted to uh, go ahead and s- I mean, God, it's been so long since we've uh, all been in a podcast together. What I was know. was that? What, what, what I came it? in Five? at number two, three, two, three. two or three. Uh-huh. And I brought my mandolin over, and I was and right. I played poorly, and uh, yeah. you guys didn't kick me out, and it was nice. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. for so those. if you were wondering who played the mandolin for the intro music, we recorded that afterwards, I think, didn't yeah. we? Like, yeah, yeah we messed though. around. Yeah, it was good. And uh, I could actually probably do that a lot. I should practice that a lot more. I, it's one of my little things that, like, to warm up, Wad's I play little that ditty. little. The wad, the wad ditty, <laughs> the do wad ditty, the do wad ditty. I think when I, I think when I saved I like that it. file, I saved it as the wad shed ditty. The wad shed ditty. Oh, you know I that's like why I, that's why I'm the talent. You know, I come up with stuff like that. You know, that's right it. off the bat, that's it. Billy, Billy, Billy in control, man. Right. Oh, it's a beautiful day to be alive here. Absolutely, it is. It was a good, it was a good holiday. Uh, like I said, I did a four day weekend and it was fun. I didn't. I actually got some like work done. You know, like. Like changed the oil in my car, did some did some things like that. Broke as I was changing the oil in my car because I'm a, this good of a mechanic. I usually <laughs> wind up breaking something else. So as I was trying to get the oil filter off, I um I, I had ask, re- I had to remove the, right the coolant reservoir Don't and st- I snapped st- a spigot going into the coolant reservoir oh, and I had to buy man. a new coolant reservoir. Did you have the correct tool to take the filter off, or did you just drive a screwdriver? I did not through? do that. I almost had to do the screwdriver <laughs> because the jackasses uh, uh, made a mistake and took it to. A, a instant an instant oil change place that we'll go doesn't rhyme with obel and <laughs> un, okay? Gotcha. And those jackasses fucking bolted 
a goddamn fucking oil filter onto my car. Wow. And I literally had to call one of my friends up that uh, who is a uh, was working that day actually just down the street from where I live, and said, "Hey, come get me and take me over to another place that I'm not going to mention, but." I had to go there and get the oil, uh, 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 the wrench, the cap you put on, and, yep, and, and yep. rock wrench it off. So that takes you back to: Did you have the correct tool? I didn't. I actually had to go get Thank it. Thank you. And then, then I wound up breaking because we had to get at this thing. We couldn't get at it from the bottom. It was on too tight. Had to have the right tool. Uh-huh. And we had, even when I had the right tool, unfortunately, Billy, it still didn't. It it didn't help because the tool that I had bought was rolling off of this particular shitty filter that they put on there. Oh. The, 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 the can for the filter was so fucking flimsy that the wrench thing that I had on it was just slipping around it. So what you're saying, there's a slippery wrench incident, mm-hmm. and she had a big can. So anyway, I broke the, uh, <laughs> I broke the yes, and I broke her coolant reservoir. Oh my God. And that's I had to go child, buy a new one of those. Support. And that's it was, right it, that was the only shitty part. But I got it all done and I fixed it. I fixed all the shit that I broke and I felt good about it. And it only cost me, honestly, $4,000. No, no. It still, even buying a new coolant reservoir still cost me only $10 more than going to an instant oil change place that oh. is reputable. Sounds like that you really made a smart decision. I right? did. I, and I put in better oil and I put on a better oil filter. So do it yourself, kids. You'll you'll you'll, you'll screw save it up money for a little bit, and then you'll start using the right tools. But you'll learn, and you can save some money. Take you'll it from learn. me, Billy Mitchell, and, and the, the wad. wad. Save some money. Save some money. So do it and yourself, and that's what that was. <laughs> be uh, that a was man. my productive shit I did that weekend. Pull your pants up and be a man. Be a man. <laughs> Do it even though it sucks. Do it anyway. Be a man. Do Be what you got to do. Do yes. what you got to do. Yes. Get your knuckles fucking busted. Oh, of course. I am loving the lounge tonight. Yeah. It, it's it's, it's a got a good feel. Bit. You know, I think I think we've really got it this time. It seems like everybody can see. I mean, obviously, we got a good good shot of the wad there. Doc, hey. you got yourself working there. I thought we were going to have to do the uh, when we couldn't get that camera working. Yeah. I thought we were going to have to put up the uh, the sketch I drew of you <laughs> that looked more just like Char- it looked more like Charlie Brown that little image of me just uh, <laughs> in frame it was just a head and I there was mean, a little bit of a pigtail as your hair it was just a little Charlie Brown <laughs> it terrible looks like it's going to be terrible yellow and black in the sweater. picture right there and then if it just hold it hold the shot thank god I'll be thank god we got it right there <laughs> episode 10 fellas yeah. cheers cheers yeah. episode 10 <laughs> So, what an achievement. So, so somebody said Duke to me, red. delicious. Like, do we take requests? And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, <sighs> well, they basically were thinking that, that it, we were going to do songs and, and some, you know, I mean, I, I could I could see us taking video requests. Mm. Or, or like, mm. uh, uh, didn't we have the idea of, uh, of taking a final songs request from yeah. Twitter? Yeah. Like, Ooh, and yeah. we'll play that song on the, yes. on the outro. Yeah. You get to the, choose the outro the music? That's a right. cool yes. idea. I like that. So, so you can tweet so, us yeah. at the woodshed underscore. Right. And follow and us on Twitter and tweet that. And, and we'll, know, be, we'll be checking the Twitter account. Hashtag ending song. Hashtag ending song. Right. And so if you put the end, you know, request the ending song, I think we, you know, we should play it. And, uh, you know, who knows what will come up with. No, I'm good. Okay. You know what I didn't do, though? If I'm going to have people um, tweeting us during the show. Right. We need to, to get a Twitter account. Well, I'm, no, I'm going to have to grab my phone that has, you know, that shows the, uh, ah. the Twitter. Uh, so if I make are, a little are noise, you phoneless? Well, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll I'll bring up. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a fucking horse in this race, and I'm gonna get on my Twitter account, and uh, I'm going to uh, request a song, and you've got to play it <laughs> at the end of the show. At the end of the, I get a pick. pick I may I, unless some some wittier uh, viewers out there right choose something else, and you guys I guess will pick right. You know I, I won't have since I mean, I'm I've putting a horse got... in the race. I can't choose. You know what? I'm going to so, throw a horse in a race right now. Just let's to throw do it. it out there let's let's have a Twitter war, man. Let's do I, it. I thought that a great way to end the show might be um, Holy Diver. <gasps> wow, Ronnie that's a good James one, man. Dio. I like that. I'm throwing some Dio out there. As, right. You know, I'll throw that out there. So if you want to, if you want Holy Diver as the lead out music, then you can tweet at the Woodshed underscore. 
hashtag holy diver. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Now, if you want to do hashtag ending song and then pick, and I will say that we will accept anything, even Bieber. Yeah. Oh, anything. no. Anything. Yeah. That's why I'm putting my horse in a race. You can. Which what, one of our crazy fans is going to su- suggest we play Bieber? Should we do a voting thing? Should like should like we say pick three songs, Ben, or uh, nah, if you've been we'll there, we'll just do the one. Okay. Well, yeah. If you've been there, then you've and then been you there. know. That way, after the show, we can go back and check the tweets, and we might pick something that was tweeted to us two days ago. Yeah, that's because we like that song. The yeah, we're gonna rack them up. Yeah. So you know, when we get the requests, we pick the one that we like the most, and that'll be. The person that requ- requested it will feel that much more special. Right. Mm-hmm. Doc's laying what it down. Is, Follow his lead. I'm following the Doc's lead. Let's see. So, But I, I'm still going to tweet something here. Yeah. It, it's at the woodshed, correct? Underscore, yes. At the woodshed, underscore. underscore at the correct. end there. I gotcha. Okay, and I'm gotcha. going to tweet, send us your final song requests. All right, I'm going to have to think of... Uh, so that's one idea. A song here. to. I think it was a great this. idea. Okay. I'm going to knock it out right now. Um, you know hmm. what that I think that uh, we should speak a little bit about and I'm just going to throw that out there while we're doing this is yeah. we've got to talk about it right off the bat before we even get into what we did on vacation Is what what about this shit where congressmen and senators oh are cannot be prosecuted That's for right. insider trading That's right. Oh god. if you are a representative in congress mm. you can't be prosecuted for insider trading right but yet using information so these guys that are you sitting would on capitol hill Writing laws. Writing laws, in in, in the you know who knows if they're not in corporations' best interest, right? But wouldn't well, you if be? If they are, I of would course. Be. You know, what well, say this guy was a former CEO of a company that paid him great sums of money to be their CEO and to build their business. Why wouldn't he be a fan of their business? Mitt Romney, so, right? Right. Yep. And so, in essence, what they're doing is they're putting uh, former CEOs from companies. Up on the hill, yeah. having them write laws George Bush in, in senior. favor. You don't even and, have to put Bush. them on the hill. And it doesn't even have to be a law. Here's the thing. Al They're Gore sitting senior. up there together from all over the country, representing all over corporations from all over the country. Yeah. And then having, supposed to be, having information about insider yes. trading, and there's nothing to stop them you know, from you know breaking the, the law. That well, if I was to go out and say, "Well, oh, this is going to happen," and the market went up or down, you know, and I made a bunch of money right. off of the information, you know, I could get prosecuted for it. But what makes them special? As the, if anything, they should be out. They should be after the interest of the people that run the country, as opposed to the corporations that enslave them. Oh, but. The, the, but the corporations are people too, don't you know? Don't you know? Well, according to the law, they are. According to Mitch McConnell. According to the business, they are. Mitch, according Ma- to Mitch McConnell Mitt actually Romney. was the one who wrote that bill. Who right. I think actually, I, again, I, I can't prove this, but I, I'm pretty so sure that that bull, that bill that he passed. I don't know how much Mitch McConnell slandering I'm going to allow. Um, my, this is not slandering, actually. This my, is my dad is saw him one time at a uh, this is county slander, festival, though. and uh, he he said he was nice to him. Gets my I've, vote for life. I've met him. Uh, Vote for life. He's nice actually, to the old man. I've actually worked with a guy. I'm a one issue voter. With. If you meet the old man and you're nice to him, get my vote. Okay. So anyway, uh, Mitch McConnell's just come back, and I'm sorry, your dad. What do you think? Me. He's in the pocket. Is that what's going on? He absolutely is. He yeah, actually yeah, introduced yeah, the par- bill. He's part of the pocket. He mm. he 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 introduced the bill that that basically and and the Supreme Court actually said it was okay. When, when it was brought before them uh-huh. that said corporations can basically are entities and they can have right, they, political speech. They can sue and be sued. No, but they, they can have political... A corporation can have political speech. They can... What do you mean by political speech? They so can contribute... To political... To political causes, causes without any right. kind of reper- repercussions at all. Okay? And they allowed that just because they wanted that corporation money? Is yes. Is that what's going on? Yes. Wow. And, and Absolutely. a lot of times... Do, uh, uh, donations like that are um, deductible. If you want to Google it, Google Mitch McConnell. Uh, I can't remember the name of the bill, I'm, and this is where I'm, I'm bad. But, but uh, he, the it it went in front of the he he had this bill passed in the Senate, President approved because it was George Bush and it was a Republican president. It was going to get passed. So, the next thing you know, the 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 Supreme Court looks at it and goes, "Wait a minute!" People start objecting to it because it basically gives a corporation the same rights as it gives an individual. Right, exactly. They are now an entity, a citizen. okay, a citizen in a sense. Crazy. But 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 they can't be held accountable like a citizen can because they're not a citizen. They're not Speaking a single person. Of citizens, right. have you ever sit? Uh, you know, took the time to sit through Citizen Kane? 
Yes. What do you think? It's it's pretty good for its day, definitely. So definitely you, one of the better you, things done. And if you look at the other the shit made in like of all time, if you look yeah. at the other shit made that year, Rosebud. if you look at the other shit made that year, yeah, that was a fucking good movie. Yeah, I give you that. You got to you got to look at it from that angle. You're telling me that that's the best movie of all time. You're I telling me that that's there. better than RoboCop. No, it is not better than There's RoboCop. No way, it's better than RoboCop. No, nah, the fuck, I agree. Man. Do you know they've they've made the RoboCop no, no, statue? No, 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 no. And they're going to put it in, in Detroit, Detroit, but they don't they don't have a place to put it. I guess you can Google that too. RoboCop well, I was statue. Just looking up uh, Mitch McConnell and his credentials. I mean, he's. Obviously, uh, it says he supported gun control. Yes. Voted for Barbara Boxer's trigger lock amendment. Mm-hmm. Um, who gives a shit about that? I'm trying to find this. This one where he does the corporation. <laughs> he defeated Bruce Lunsford McConnell versus the Federal Election Commission. Yes. He was also well known for his opposition to campaign so finance. This is That's it. All right, and in 2009, Sh- Citizens United versus the Federal Election Committee. That's the one you want to look at. All right, let me bring that up. So this is where the corporations became. It is a U.S. constitutional law case in which the United States Supreme Court held that the First Amendment prohibits the government from restricting political independent expenditures by corporations, associations, or labor unions. The conservative lobbying group Citizens United wanted to air a critical film of Hillary Clinton and to advertise the film during election broadcast in apparent violation of the 2002 Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to... Okay, it said, held that the First Amendment prohibits the government from restricting political independent expenditures by corporations. So that is saying that corporation can now spend. Corporation can now support whatever candidates they want. Yes, right. Yeah, that's pretty filthy. So now the corporations can support whatever candidates they want, and yes. the candidates cannot be prosecuted for insider trade. Yes. So you know who's given the government contracts because you are writing those motherfucking contracts. You're competing for those contracts in the Senate against other senators. All right. But a lot. Of and if you get all your brethren around you, you can get. You can get the fucking sweetest shit. <laughs> but wouldn't a lot of people say, um, isn't that how things are supposed to work? Because, you know, the people who are in the corporations, the corporations should have an interest they in, give who, us a in who their Senate, or the, who their representation is so that they will support that represent, re- representative, their means to getting the laws passed that will help aid, extend, them. A- aid the corporation thereby aiding society everybody if everybody played morally probably that'd be okay right but unfortunately people people get dicked and the workers get fucked over and next thing you know minimum there is no minimum wage and because people need a fucking job they got a fucking you know to pay for their fucking medical care they've got and drive and and do all the other shit that they have to do in this world right live They've got to work for whatever they get them. I mean, give we're, them. we're guaranteed life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yes, right? that's it, though. I mean, that's it. Life to, and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. You have to actively pursue it. Yes. Right. Doc does it every day. Absolutely. But all you have to do is, is say, you know what? Your level of happiness will be living in a hovel, and you better be thankful for it. A hovel? Yeah. You know, and, and you, you make... Uh, not familiar. H-O-V-E-L? You make 13 cents a month, the, you know... What are you going to do? That's happening all over the world. Maybe People right, get right. paid and shit, you're talking about labor and they wages. are living. Their living standards right. suck. Right. Maybe, maybe it's a hovel. Living hovel. In a, that's living right. Living in a hovel. But right. again, what that boils down to, though, is how corporate interests controlling the government. Labor it's fascism. Markets. Is what it? It's not the the it, fascism well, that people think of, where it's. Uh, you know, most people think of it like Nazism uh, and, and like right wing, like, uh, you know, bad guys. But fascism, I think if you look it up, the definition is where part of the definition, at least, is where the government is owns all of the corporations. Different right. than communism, Different. where everybody works for the government. The state. Right. No, the, the corporations. The state. The corporations. Yeah. Yes. Everybody works for the state. The right. corporations, basically, the government 
owns all of the corporations. They are the government. Just they a, tell you the rules. Just a quick side note. Do. Yes. A hovel <laughs> is an open shed or shelter. So technically, we could be in a hovel. We could be. Well, if we opened the door. There is. Yeah. The door's open. Well. <laughs> so we're in a hovel. We're in a hovel. It makes it sound like much worse than it is. We are ominously well, in a hovel. Let, let me read you the second definition. But our standard of living in a hovel is pretty fucking sweet. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Indoor plumbing. Because we've worked hard. Yes. Because, because we've earned our wage. Yes. Pasteurized yeah. beverages. Um, Wasn't there but if we were though? dudes that lived in fucking, I don't know, man, fucking. The Shire. The Shire. We would have a much Ooh. different standard of living. Oh, because we'd be half as tall. If we were Chinese. And also half as tall. Oh, racism. I'm sorry. The, uh, uh, <laughs> the second definition of a hovel is tabernacle. A hmm. tabernacle. What do you think when you hear tabernacle? A large a cathedral kind of I do too. place. I think, well, I think of a church. I think more of a cathedral, tabernacle yeah. kind of place. But we might have to go to tabernacle. The third definition does not help our case, though. Uh-huh. That is a small, wretched, yeah. and often dirty house. Yes. Hut, a mm. hut. You're That's living in a hovel. I think I like the woodshed better. Sounds now. like an old apartment it's of mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that that first apartment, first apartment I ever got. There oh were, man! At one point, there were five of us living in a two bedroom apartment. It's just like when the guy asks you for the security deposit, you just say keep it. No, we. I've just uh, keep it. I've never right. lost any money on any security deposit on any apartment I've uh, ever lived. You go back and clean that thing. Because I go back and clean that thing as be- as well as I can. The only thing I've ever lost money for clean is... Clean my filth out of this place that I've been living in for three years. If I don't replace the drip pans on the stove, then they'll usually charge you for that. But you can't help that if you're making, you know, the Sunday sauce one day. You got your sausage in there and the peppers and the meatballs. And it boils over when you're not looking. Drip pans are ruined. But not to uh, <laughs> get you off subject, Wad, you were uh, ranting, was ranting over there. I was doing a little no, political. That was good. Rant. That was good. That's what I, I wanted to I, talk about. And you know what? I, I, topic. I like uh, capitalism. I love capitalism. Right. I think, we love I think capitalism. you should be able to. But, Make but us you strong. Can't, you gotta be, you do clap. you look at it from a philosophical concept, though, or do you think I, that it's the end-all, be-all? I think all it's, be all? it is. Because it's don't not you the end-all, be-all, but it's just part of our nature to make money and to ch- exchange things for one of those and to improve our situations pursuit of happiness that's really what think that it's in our is nature to make money or i mean i, agree, I think it is I uh, it is in our nature our, i agree that it's in our nature to make to our situation goods and well, services to, and to make our own situations better I that think, is okay think, instead of using and also to anyway, make okay, sure that that's our your situation let me bring these you are the together. only situations that we know we've been raised to have money on our mind. So had we right. been raised in a more resource-based economy mm-hmm. as opposed to a monetary-based economy, yeah. wouldn't you believe that earning and, and exchanging goods and services based on resources and being a resource creator yes. would be a focus still? And you would money, still be exchanging. Money wouldn't be the focus of, right. of the society and culture that we have. Unfortunately, that's the way it is now. That's, that's because, why I think that money because in it's and of still, itself... But those two things are the same thing. Inflation... Is causing slavery. Let me. Uh, throw they come this from in the there. same. They come from Instead the same of, place, uh, though. That that need to improve our situations. Like you, well, if me and you can use, make a mutual agreement, and quick. we uh, I, instead of using okay, to make money or to exchange resources, I think there's an inherent need for people to prosper. Yes, and that's I think what I, that, and that's I think, what I was saying. I think okay. that'll cover both of those. That's what I. Just, that's what I was. That's not, where it comes not from. Not in everyone. The right. pursuit of happiness. That's where we come from. Right. Yeah. The and I'm not totally communist. <laughs> no, no, no. And and you're right. But it, they, they that, that, and there are a lot and, of things and, about capitalism that I agree. Billy with. over here is is do you is think summing up. A, I think do you think Doc's a little pink? What we were both talking about was it. We will have someone that throw trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we go through your trash. We find out if you pink. I bet. So anyway, Mitch Mitch McConnell sold us out to corporations. <laughs> Yes, and there's my assessment of Mitch McConnell. Right. God bless you, Mitch. You've actually done quite a bit for the state of Kentucky. So what if Ashley Judd runs? But you really, you really, no, have a that ain't gonna happen. Um, <laughs> I think that um, if she, had I heard ran, that was the rumor. If she you, had ran he's, ten he's, years ago when she was attractive, he's done really good for the state. His state. Now people say she looks good for her age. That's okay. That's when things change. When they throw that for her age. For or, her age in there. Or, you know, he's doing all right for his age. You're like, oh damn. That's what the downturn feels like when you throw that on there. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking forward to that. Nope. Okay, tabernacle. 
the definition of tabernacle is a often capitalized a tent sanctuary used by the Israelites during the Exodus. Tabernacle. A tent sanctuary. A like tent a mobile church. Sanctuary. Is um, the word taberna the, related to it? Taberna? Taberna is the German word, I think old German word for tavern. Nine. Nine. Um, it could das be ist a tabernacle <laughs> is also a receptacle for the consecrated elements of the Eucharist, especially an ornamental locked box used for reserving the communal hosts. So those are tabernacle. Interesting. They bring them. And then it's also the third definition, a house of worship, specifically a large building or tent used for evangelistic services. Mm-hmm. The Mormons used one. The they have examples a nice one. of tabernacles. And, and they have a wonderful choir out here. <laughs> Worshippers gathered at the Baptist tabernacle on a bright Sunday morning, which the Baptists are known for their tent revivals, so they would have that. Um, here's my question. In the first definition, it says a often or an often capitalized. Now, let me ask you this. Do you say often or do you say often? Often. I say often a lot. Often. Yeah. I do, it's I, supposed to be often. Well, with I, a T. I looked, the other, I looked the other day, and there was contrasting, um, you know, it's a lot of people would say often, and some people would say often. I'm not sure which, you know, let me just see what I got here at the old Merriam-Webster. Well, I think, <laughs> I think what, what you're talking right about is a subject that's often overlooked. What's that? No, we got, oh my God! Giving give yourself some applause on that one. Oh, give me a so, give me a quiet applause there. If we had the sad trombone, Soft that would have been good. <laughs> Soft it applause. was often overlooked. Often overlooked. It says many times, frequently. They go out to dinner fairly often. How often do you call your mother? <laughs> The condition often returns even after treatment with antibiotics. I often take a walk during my lunch break. The disease, ig- <laughs> I couldn't even get it out. The disease is diagnosed most often in children. I have no idea. So you can tweet the show and let us know how you pronounce that with the T or without the T. So and ha- also hashtag often or often. It's whether or not you <laughs> yeah. want to put the T in there. <laughs> so because... We, we're fifty-fifty here. We're not sure. Yeah, I'm undecided. So, what about the what about the music thing? Well, Are we gonna do the outro music? Uh, yeah, we'll we see still what comes up. up. We'll just keep it in the background. All right. All right. I'm should still, we do I'm still what, what upset hashtags? About this. What hashtags should we use? What's for got that? you so upset? The governors are, are like, okay, okay. Let's forget about the, the state side here. Let's con- just think the about the congressman sitting in right and all these. Okay, is a congressman a representative in the house? Yes. Or a senator. Senators are congressmen because they are part of Congress. They are also senators, right. but they are not. They are representatives. They are not House of Representatives. The House of representatives. They're not in the Correct. House. Who are also part of Congress. Congress. Correct. Yes. Right. So there's there's a hundred there right off the bat, and then plus another four hundred and thirty eight. Some four thirty five, thirty eight, maybe with the close. Maybe they get. Maybe they five. get a. Uh, so yeah, Puerto Rico. You're talking about five hundred and fifty people. Mm-hmm. Right. That that can just freely exchange information, information, on, very important well, information on, on about this pending contracts and capitalist free market that you, that we're talking possible about problems in the market, right? And they can say, yeah, you might want to get out of this company because we're about to right f them in the a. Or hey, you if know, you could pass the whole point that those laws were passed anyway is so people can't cheat. What makes our elected <laughs> officials so special? That they can cheat. Well, you could pass a law well, that says now you can drill money. in the oil sands. And According, then, if you're not a representative, if you're not a congressman, they can stop you from making money. Yeah, that's because you it. can be charged with insider trading. That's yeah. what, but, you know but, what I mean. But, 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 you that's know, what happened to Martha. Just Stewart. because they're privy to it doesn't mean you know they'll do anything wrong. I'm, I'm being I'm right. being sarcastic. I I, I'm, that's you know. the whole point. That's why they it's call like, them the honorable gentleman from the honorable gentleman from Georgia from Georgia. Right. But uh, re- I, I guess yield what's got three me minutes. so angry is that oh, no. where's the checks and balances system for Wall Street? Well, we've got it. Well, they get uh, bailed out because the uh, insurance policies <laughs> that we sold, they the bankers called in 
And uh, then the insurance company was like, oh, well, we don't have enough money. And the people that insured the insurance company, these foreign investors said, uh, yeah, we right. can't, we're not going to let uh, that that fall. So uh, Federal Reserve, you better work out some kind of deal with – and the Federal Reserve was like, yeah, um, you better find that on your own. Right. And so now we have tanning bed taxes. <laughs> Thank God. Because did you see that lady who – was so tanned. She I thought she was sexy. The woman from There's Something About Mary? <laughs> What's Brett Favre doing here? <laughs> you know, on S- and Something About Mary, th- the guy who plays her brother was Dan off of Deadwood. Really? Yeah. He's from Bowling Green. Yeah. Went to Kentucky. Uh, He's from, from Murray. Uh, uh, Western. Went to Western. Interesting. He plays Dan Doherty on Deadwood. Or maybe and he is if you Murray. are not familiar with Deadwood, then uh, that's something you could really get into. Yeah, you should definitely check that out. Probably the probably one of the greatest period pieces ever. Just oh, great Deadwood is characters. Fantastic. It's gonna leave you wanting more. It, it, they, yeah, it did. I don't wanna say anything more about the final episode, but you you're gonna you're gonna be le- left wanting a little bit after that, I think. Right. And I think that's fair to say. I commonly think that's very accepted. fair to say. I think there was intention on doing more, too. Did and then you? it just didn't happen. So, what you're telling me is that the Pacers beat the Heat last night? That's true. Tied yes. up series 2-2. Yes. Two two. I mean, there was one point during the game last night, and the uh, coach of the Heat came on the uh, floor to call a play, and the official charged him a timeout. Yeah. And he said, what do you mean? He goes, you called timeout. He goes, no, I didn't. I was calling a play. He said, well, you were out on the court making a motion. So in my mind, that's a timeout. It was like a punishment for yeah. that behavior. Instead of calling a delay of game, which is what he should have done, and giving him a technical, he called. He made him call a timeout. And after that debacle, um, it really killed the Pacers' momentum for a while. For, I, sh- for sure. I, th- I mean, they were up by about 11. Then you look around, and LeBron hits a three, and they're tied up. Yeah. Like, what, whoa, what happened? Everything happened in the fourth quarter, though. Yeah. Yes. I, felt, I, I mean, I got to admit, I fell asleep about halfway through the fourth quarter, fourth quarter. I talked to somebody today that was trying to say that uh, because of situations like that, that the NBA is rigging the playoffs. A lot of people say that it's it's rigged. Every and time something like that happens, you know, you, you get that feeling. Right. It's like, really, did they work that out so we'll, we'll watch? Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think there's a lot of that mentality being bred now, too, because every time you see some tragedy on the news, which is all the news basically is anyway, right. there's a million conspiracy theorists going to pop up out of the, the woodwork, you know? Yeah. We're suspicious. You know why? You know why we're suspicious? It's in our nature. Because Mitch McConnell sold us out to the corporations. <laughs> That's <Right>. why. <laughs> right. We've had we've had everything taken from us, or, or at least not everything. No, we've, everything, we've, we've, we've lost a lot of faith of, in, right. in the system. Exactly. And, and I think the so, play, yeah, you the know what? That conspiracy that sounds good. The most. That conspiracy our, sounds our, good because people security. are assholes, you know? People will do weird shit, you know? And, and, and they will play us like that. Right. So. I think the playoffs are uh, the seven game series too much. I think it's too much. It feels like we've been in the NBA playoffs now for a month and a half. I'm going to continue to argue this, but the same could be said about baseball. I <sighs> just I like the playoffs in baseball, though. See, and I like the playoffs in the NBA more than the baseball. Like, they if won't. I had to rank them top three, it would be NFL, NBA, and I may not even I don't even know that I'd put baseball in my third one for mm. ju- for, for for professional sports, right? I mean, for college, favorite. no, for just you absolute favorite. Really, sport. you'd put. NBA is number two. You put two. NBA. That's right. I'm I've a basketball never been that big lover. of an NBA fan, but and then I would probably put hockey as third. I love. Hockey. I man, I was so into the hockey, so into es- hockey in the especially 90s. Especially this year because the Penguins are still routing the playoffs. I was I was you so are. into it in the 90s, but and I was a, I'm a Blues fan, and they've just sucked so hard for the past few years. And and they started they got a off couple good. Of good kids though. They yeah yeah I don't want to say they suck man because I I love I can't the Blues. Believe that they you didn't all make would. the playoffs. I, no, they did not, and they started off on fire this year with the short season they were fucking ready to play and then it sucked man so no ncaa I, that's what i was that's where i was going I that's rank, where i was going i would rank that probably college ball yeah see i would rank college football and basketball right there behind nba you, i NBA, can't rank nba over nfl is number one nfl for for sure me for too me. i'm a football fan you know but then i like and I, then college I, probably, I would probably rank okay 
I would probably say NCAA basketball and NCAA football in that order. Yes. As third and fourth. Yes. And yes. Then if, hockey, if they would get a playoff season. And then NCAA baseball. Football. I would put mine. Get, here's my list. Then. But you see the order of importance for baseball for me. So like when you yeah. say that the basketball playoffs are are a little long. They're, no, they're far too long. They're, seven game series is ridiculous. They yeah. should go back to like a three, 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 five, seven. Only one that sevens the final. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 But see, to me, it's no different like than that. baseball. Doing the five, they do a five five seven right, or yeah. five seven seven. No, they start off with a couple of three game best of three, don't they? In the really? first round, best of three. Huh? Is that See, the wild card? Well, now that the yeah, I believe it is. The wild card is a three game playoff. Mm hmm. They play in. That sounds right. But you know, see, that's to, it's no different to me than the in, the NBA where. You know, in a seven-game series, you're really going to see, and and like we've seen now, with we've had a several four-game sweeps where the better team is just clear cut. You know mm-hmm. what's weird is in the NBA nowadays, you could call it's like in the NFL, you could call holding on almost every play. In the NBA, you could call foul on every possession. Right. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. they are freaking hacking each right, other brutal. out there. Brutal. But it's good stuff, man. That like, was they're on... scoring 114 <clears throat> points a game. How often do you see a college game go over 100 points? Every and time Kentucky plays next year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Harrison hey, Twins. That's all right. Oh, Who's the God. Champs? We can only hope. Who's uh, the champs? Who, I, uh, who is the NCAA <laughs> basketball champions? I know. That, that, hey, that first would be time in 30 years, buddy. Louisville Good job. Louisville Cardinals. That's right. First time. Welcome home. Oh, hey, I got a question. People, I got a question. Were you alive when they won their last championship? <laughs> people, I, people are. People are. <laughs> you got. Uh, 30 was, years ago. I was. Drought. So. What, 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 here's what's going to happen. Uh, Rick Pitino is going to quit. Tubby Smith is going to come in. And, uh, and next not th- next year, but in 2015, he's going to win the next championship for With Louisville. Rick Pitino's and then, team. And then it will be another 30-year stretch. <laughs> we got at the I uh, love the cards. I oh, do. Right. I do. I do. Right. I do. I do. I do. I like making jokes. I like teasing people, but I do love the cards, man. <laughs> I See, and I do love the cats and I used too. to I used to I make hate no qualms I used to hate on Peyton Silva uh Peyton Siva yeah I used to hate on him and now I love him man yeah. I'm like do you want to follow you on Twitter dude you know <laughs> right. I like you man I, and I hated on him at first I was like oh I hate him. he's all chasing right let's check like in him. with uh we got um at the man on nan 11 is saying that it is with the T often often yeah but only some be like I haven't Onan. had what was it again? The man on Yeah, would say something like that. At the man on eleven. <laughs> I'm gonna start a Twitter fight with Onan. The well, man uh, Onan. I don't know. I mean, I think the argument that it's a six game or, or seven game series, I think it, there might be some validity to that. I think a, like a it's five fun. game, five game, and then for the finals, make it a seven game series. Yeah, that'd yeah, be nice. because see, I want to. I, and I, I, I think I would agree with that. I understand what you're saying about you know you get more games and you enjoy them, yeah. but like when I, I I don't really watch the NBA too much throughout the year because unless you know the Heat or the Lakers are playing or somebody good because I'm not going to watch you know Memphis play. Um, what's well? I mean, some of the bad teams are good. I mean, you can't say the Pacers because yeah. look, the Pacers are good now. Right. But, you know, you'll see Memphis play the Jazz on a Sunday afternoon. So, by the time the playoffs come around, I get excited about them and interested. And now I've already gotten excited, interested. I mean, that was back when the Knicks were still in the playoffs. So right. I was excited about I'm like, my God, the playoffs are still going on. Good God. What well, see, I was excited about it then, too, because I was I was excited to watch uh, – Melo play? Carmelo Anthony lose. Oh. <laughs> I, I think he's you know he's been, he's been character no he's been characterized as a very selfish player and then if yeah. you if you watch him from that viewpoint from that mindset he yeah. is he really turns out to be and that's I think that's one of the reasons that they're having trouble as a team is because uh, some of their players not necessarily just him uh, you know Amari Stoudemire uh, <laughs> why'd they run uh, Jeremy Lin out of New York I think he wanted more money and he got paid when he went to Houston he's a rocket. Yeah, they probably love him down there. Yeah, they made the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. I, I enjoyed watching them play a little bit, but uh, it wasn't like that Lynn was carrying the team by any means, would nah, you say? No, absolutely not. It felt like he was more of a role player. Yeah. But, you know, there were games there in New York where he was scoring 20, 30 points a game. He was going crazy. True. It was Lynn sanity. Yeah, Lynn sanity. They may have overhyped <laughs> that. You know, it is in Gotham. 
Right, that's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I would say that I, I mean, I was on a bandwagon when I when I jumped on the LeBron bus mm-hmm. back when he was drafted as a rookie to Cleveland, and one of the reasons why is that I, you know, most of my favorite teams are from Pittsburgh, you know, the Penguins and the Steelers, and so I didn't have a basketball affiliation. And the Kentucky Colonels haven't been around since what seventy eight. Could no memory, no memory of the Colonels. Right. So I don't have yeah. a favorite team affiliation here. Or, yeah. Or from Pittsburgh. Well, I think, so I jumped on the Cleveland Cavaliers bus. Uh-huh. You know that was back when they had Jeff Hornacek. Right. Exactly. And Mark Price. Mark Price. Yeah. You know, and they were and they had uh, uh, Darty. Brad Darty. Brad Darty. And they played and they were they would beat. The Bulls with Michael Jordan. Right. He had such trouble beating them back Craig, in the day. Craig Elo. Yeah. Oh, my God. Was yeah, on exactly. That See, and you remember that. And so that's what I was going through when I remembered, okay, okay, Cleveland is going to go through a, a new resurrection. And with LeBron, they did that. And so I jumped on that bus as soon as he was drafted because I was, you know, I was like, this kid's going to live up to the hype. Yeah. Well, and he did. And he certainly did. So, you know what? You, you, you touched the, on something a minute ago. He's the I... new coming of basketball to me. So that's why I'm on the LeBron bus, no matter what team he is. And even when everybody was hating on him for take, you know, I'm taking my talents to to South Beach, I was like, "All right, cool. Let's see what goes on with Dwayne Wade." Yeah, <laughs> so, but it's hard for me to not like him. Yeah, I think it's just because Cleveland is such a shitty town. Oh, for sure. That you know, LeBron was a ray of sunshine and hope. In yeah, a, and they took it. He took it away from them. That's pretty. Yeah. It was pretty, it's pretty cold. awful. It you was know, cold. Throwing it's yeah. <laughs> fucking Cleveland. It, I don't think the Cuyahoga River basin is too much to Cleveland, write home about. You know, that's like throwing shit Cleveland on a shit pile city of lights that already city. has too much shit on it to begin with. <laughs> I heard a quote from a buddy of mine from back in the day. Uh, he said that Cleveland is the armpit, armpit of yeah. America. Yeah. I thought that yeah. was um, uh, Philadelphia. No, what's right outside of Chicago? New, New Indiana. Gary, Gary Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> Everybody to- knew I've that heard, one. I've heard Toledo was that, too. Of course, it's the mistake by the lake. Right. I Toledo like has uh, the Mud Hens, though. they got minor league baseball. Yeah. You know, one, I you like know, one to go city, see them when they come around. I one city that, one city that I've always just admired, and I've, I've been through it uh, uh, on a couple of occasions, is Detroit. I freaking... It's so fucking filthy. I don't think it's I've beautiful. ever. I've been to uh, Michigan several times, but I've never been to Detroit. Do you guys? You guys have ever been up in, uh, into Cincinnati? You know Vine Street in Cincinnati, right? Yeah, it's the filthiest street in Cincinnati. Oh yeah, but it's fun. But you got to drive up it. It the entirety of Detroit is like that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just so beautiful, um, and and. You know, and this is something I, w- I wanted the to talk about. The entirety of Detroit is like Vine Street, and then in surrounded surrounded by by giant ductworks and from a, and abandoned car plants, buildings and wow. abandoned car plants and just giant like industrial monstrosities circling the city, and it's just beautiful, man. It's just this this. It's like a fucking Pink Floyd album cover. Really? Okay, I'm not fucking kidding you. It's like it's like fucking. Uh, What's the album cover I'm thinking of? Wish You Were Here. Wish You Were Here. No, 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 no. The one before that. Um, uh, Where the two guys are shaking hands. Yeah, that's... Animals with the factory in the 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 background. That's that's the whole The whole city looks like that. It's just... If you'd it's like, just if beautiful. You, if and you'd I'll, like to, Doc, you and can I'm not out, uh, animals from the uh, case right there to your left. And this is in no way dogging on Detroit. I fucking really... I like it because of that reason. I'm like, that's fucking... That's dope. I've that's industrial, heard, man. That's de- that's real industrial. Never heard anybody say this they like Detroit. I'll tell you right now. And I've been a Red Wings fan. Closeted, oh, here we go. Closeted here Red we Wings go. fan. Ooh. Although I am a true believer in the Blue Note. have to break up a fight in here? No. I'm He's a, a true... Blues fan. I respect the hell out of the St. Louis Blues, man. I, uh, if I, you don't know who Brett Hull and Bobby Hull are. Brett Hull, Brett baby. Brett Hull was my heyday, man. Brent, I, see, I was here's, skating around here's why I'm a closet. Here's why. Growing here's, up. You know. Here's why I... Uh, thinking I was Brett Hull and Wayne Gretzky. Here's why I am Bobby a, Orr. I am a closet... Red Wings fan. Here's my here's my here's my reasoning. Uh, Brennan Shanahan, Bronco Nagurski, went to the Red Wings, and I love me some Shanny. Yeah. All right, I love him. Okay. He's great. I love me uh, who some else, Shammy. Who else went there? Um, a couple other Blues went there. Uh, Chelios wanted up going there. And I always loved Chelly too. Yeah. He's a good kid. I like him. See, I don't pay so, attention to who goes to Detroit. I always paid attention to who goes to New York because where the Rangers go, like uh, where where the players are, 
that like Mark Messier went there yeah. to die and yes. uh, like those but he, type of he guys. He died a Viking, man. Right. <laughs> he went out well, oh, man. Oh, dude. <laughs> he was a beast. I loved him. You Yarmir are... Yager still plays. Did I love you know Yarmir Yager. I love his yeah. fucking mullet, man. He played, and he's got he's got a gray flow. Gray, Do you know who the new coach? You know who the now. the new coach of the Colorado Avs are, right? Right now, you are speaking Czechoslovakian. Well, let's let's time. finish up finish this up real quick. <laughs> no, I mean, and, and we'll move on to another on. subject. It's, it's let's just say well, I'm going to drop a couple know, of names, and you, we'll we'll end it. Do you know who? Okay, the question is: Do you know who the new coach? Of no, the Colorado Avs is. I, don't. I do. Patrick Waugh. Patrick Waugh. Wah. The awesome. new head coach of the You didn't know that? A handful of players that I'm I really that impressed one. by. That. No, that's good. I didn't know Patrick yeah. Waugh is the new coach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Sakic, was, you know Joe Sakic? Uh, He's like their fucking head there's of a, something There's an amazing goalie yeah. that was in Vancouver, uh, Roberto Luongo. Uh, Have you heard of him? I see, I'm a Cujo fan. Oh, he's awesome. Curtis Joseph, and, baby. Uh, all and, the way. And then, of course, lastly, and enough about hockey. Yes. Sidney Crosby. And Evgeny Malkin are scoring champs, nice. but not to mention they're playing on the same team. Yeah, with uh, Latang and uh, uh, oh man, what's well, the other say, kid's name? See, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just now, no, I'm just now getting back into yeah. hockey. And I was but a huge fan in the '90s, the, massive fan the, in the, the '90s. The Penguins are like an all-star team right now. Uh, they're sick. I had a lot of and see, and I got to see like Lemieux play and those guys back in see, the '90s. That, that was my hate. See, we used to go. We used, used to go to, to St. Play Louis. Mario Lemieux hockey on Sega We used to Genesis. go to St. Louis and watch the games. Yeah. My first game I ever went to see, I saw Wayne Gretzky score a goal oh, for wow. the Kings, and then I saw him score a goal for the Blues. Wow. Okay. So and and you know this was a four hour drive for us, but we would go at least twice a season and try to see a Blues game. Awesome. I loved watching the Blues play. Yeah. The oh. second game I saw was. Uh, we got an update here. Um, we we found out from uh, at the man on an eleven that there are no three game series in MLB. Starts with five in the first round. Play- uh-huh. Playoffs is all about <laughs> revenue. Mo games, mo money. Mo money. There they, you go. He, the man on an nailed it. Well, we appreciate that on an. So uh, yeah, we need let's to get him well, on the show. When, is, we, when is he coming? Are we are we? Are we still going to be at the sports desk, or are we going to move on? Let's probably, uh, yeah. We're probably going right. to get him on um, maybe this coming weekend. We were going to check with you and see what you got this yeah, weekend. We'll see what we're doing. We're, we're, I think the Wednesday shows are working out good. I think that'll get us some viewers. And uh, subscribe, people. What subscribe. the hell else are you doing on a Wednesday? You know, working. And, <laughs> and if you can't, and if you can't do it on Wednesday, just go to YouTube. We made it easy. Right. You go to YouTube and you watch it. Episode watch it ten. Wednesday. Hashtag. But come join us live and because subscribe. it's kind of fun, and you can say things to us on the uh, interwebs. Oh. What were we talking about? We were done playing with hockey. What were we playing yeah. with next? Um, okay, it's something I wanted to ask. We and, and this is still in the sports realm, uh-huh. but but like I said, you know, I was a big Blues fan growing up. Right. We're we're from the same place, right? I mean, we're all from the same place. Right. I'm a Blues fan. You're a hockey fan. You're a Pittsburgh Penguins. Pittsburgh Penguins fan. You're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. That's right. Right. And My I kind of was when I was a when I was a very young man because they were winning Super Bowls and it was Terry Bradshaw exactly. and Franco Harris and those right. dudes. Mean Joe Green. Don't, and I was born right that. after that. At, that was. That, my great that was when I was like was a big Steelers. Fan that was when I was there. like in elementary school. So yeah. I was bandwagon, and because where we're from, you've always there's been no bandwagon. professional. Football sport. Exactly. There's no. There's no professional sports. Period. There's no we have professional, no, no professional affiliation because of location. <laughs> 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 there's no f- professional football sport. Uh, this just in. It's official. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is going to fight somebody named Canelo. C A N E L O. September fourteenth. Wow. Canelo is that I it? I think that's his name. Yeah. Another Could fight. Well, I bet Floyd's probably going to win. Probably. Who is this Canelo? Who Canelo. Knows? I'm going to. He's the great white hype. He, oh, my God, he's white. I don't know. I hope not. It's the great Latin hype. Oh, we've got Freaker's Ball. On this the, this is, is that – check the – check the uh, what's the Woodshed Twitter feed there? What's it got? That's my that, – that, oh, and that's my Twitter feed. I just sent you guys my, my vote for the outro song. Don't forget, viewers, that we are uh, taking requests. I'm not keeping track of that. I am. Somebody needs to. Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell is, is following the... Pull it up right there. Yeah. Oh, somebody says the Wad is a poser. Nobody loves Detroit at Hipster Movie. Wow. What? Who? Who? I, I'm not oh, going to reveal man. any... You know the people who love Detroit? The people that throw the squid out on the ice. 
when they score goals in playoffs or win games. Or what, I don't what, even no, know why they do they that. They throw squid out. They, on they, the they ice. throw I'm dead a, squid out on the I'm ice. I'm a poser. Oh, but man. you know, just got called you need a poser. To, you need to, let me see that. Where's? No, I'm not is it on your Twitter? I'm not gonna is it on your it. Twitter feed? Okay, let me go look. At, I need to go subscribe to the Woodshed real quick. <laughs> what? I'm gonna get. You let a guy in here that has not I, subscribed. To, did you not check him at the door? Had, no, 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 he no, had no, no. Credentials. I, I, I got you. Twitter's your. Yeah, here we go. Ah, oh, wait a minute. I can't, <laughs> there's Josh. I can't believe at the Woodshed. No three game series. Yeah. Can't believe that. Uh, you know I. <laughs> I'm gonna find out who this Can- Canelo guy is. That's gonna that Floyd Canelo. Is, that Floyd is going to beat badly, because if you step in a ring with that man, you're just, you're nuts. Yeah. Or you're gonna get very well paid, and you're gonna be very nice to him. You're not gonna headbutt him like that one idiot did, because you're gonna get dropped. <laughs> he, Do you guys watch UFC MMA? Uh, not not as no. religiously as they used to. Main event uh, they had a good fight this past weekend. I didn't get to see it because I was on oh, vacation. Somebody beat up Chael Sonnen again. No, that that was like <laughs> he has a very fun name to say. It's oh, Chael yeah. Sonnen. You're right. Uh, and he gets beat up quite a bit. Yeah, John Jones whipped him again. Uh, it was pretty fun. This fight was uh, uh I think it was uh oh. His name is Can- Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez? Oh, that's the guy fighting Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to pull him up. I'm trying to get a look at this cat. Blurred. Yeah. See Blurred who Mayweather. Doesn't have a chance on September uh, 14th, but... Oh, my God. I wish you could see. For those at home, go ahead and pull up images for the guy that they're going to have Mayweather fight. Okay. You're right. He is the Great White Hope. I'm telling you, man, that that movie, The Great White Hope, completely sums up the era of boxing now. I mean, he's his name is Alvarez. I mean, let's see if I can find the the wiki, what the story is on this guy. Why does he want to get hurt? Yeah, look at this kid. Really? Really? There's. You can look at him and say, "There's no way." He kind of looks like Blake Griffin, but Irish. Smaller. If you were a boxer. Wad, what are you doing over there? Starting up a new website on squarespace.com? <laughs> oh, no. They say it's easy to do. He was born in Guadalajara. Guadalajara. From Jalisco, Mexico. Okay. Interesting. Oh, What? You you made up a fake name there. That was the man on man, one one. Ah, uh, that that called me out as a poser. I I I like some of the players on Detroit. Let me let me let me get this. Let me get this. Let me take care of this shit. <laughs> the Wad is in Twitter world. Over well, there. the Wad's being insulted. He just somebody. I, can't, somebody, I will not stand. Somebody's for this, calling sir. him out. They're saying that. Check I will out not the stand for this. That, uh, Check out the great white hype that's gonna fight Floyd Mayweather. Look at this guy. Really? Well, let me give you a little background. He is the current WBC, WBA, and Ring Magazine light middleweight champion. He was promoted by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. Huh. Alvarez started boxing at 13 years old after watching his older brother, Rigoberto Alvarez, debut as a professional boxer. In 2004, he won silver medal at the Junior Mexican National Olympics held in Sonola. He became the 2005 Junior Mexican National Box- Boxing Champion in Tuxla Gutierrez, Mexico, when he was 15. Crazy. He turned pro at 20. He had, oh, even though he turned pro, he had 20 amateur bouts. He be, uh, put the whooping on Miguel Vasquez in 2006. Yeah. Light middleweight title. Uh, he beat Matthew Hatton. So this is the, you know, the Hatton boys. Have you seen them? No. Not that impressive. I think they're Irish or British. Not that impressive. Yeah. They're crowd pleasers. He Okay, he fought somebody named Trout. Yeah. Um, let's see. It doesn't look like he has any losses. He is, uh, he's 42-0. 
So no, maybe he's just four, next in line to be Mayweather's bitch. He's 42 and one He was a draw against Jorg Vasquez. Okay, the first 20 fights he fought were all against Mexican fighters. Then he fought some American named Sean Hawley. Then he fought some guy named Larry Mosley, who was an American. I've never heard of any of these guys he's fought. He fought Sugar Shane Mosley in one in 2005. Huh. So that that's a decent fighter then. He beat yeah. Shane Mosley. And, and he beat Julio Cesar Chavez too. And he's 42-0. and 0. He beat Jose Cota. Uh-huh. So uh, maybe this is a big deal. Maybe it is going to be a good fight. There's just no way. They're going to tout it as, and then Floyd's going to beat him in TKO. Yeah. Floyd's just probably Floyd's just too good. Uh but right now, um the Watt is getting made fun of on Twitter. <laughs> He's saying that he can only name play talk, ho- on hockey talk. That uh the Wad can only name players from NHL ninety two on Sega Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You know what? That's that's true, Classic man. Viewers oh, sliding you man. Up. What what a fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. That's great. <laughs> I like having the interaction. Um, right now, just to run down the baseball for anybody that doesn't have internet or doesn't really care, the Yankees are good. The Sox are good. And being the, the Red Sox, Cardinals are doing pretty good. Cardinals are good. Yeah. The Ran- I'm a Yankees fan, though, just so everybody knows. The Rangers are good. <laughs> um, who are we leaving out? I don't really care about who's in the American League West. Um. Wait, that is the Rangers. Uh, okay, then you got uh, the Giants are good, and that pretty much sums up who's good in baseball. One of those teams should win the World Series. Uh, should we go? Should we go right to the clip of the week? Are we ready for that? Yay, clip of the week! All right, should we Let's pull it up here? Let's see what we're gonna do. Because we've got a lot to talk about about this clip. Um, oh, is this the the guy? What's his name? This is Kai. Oh yeah. Now. For those of you all who haven't seen this or who doesn't know much about him or what's going on right now with his litigation, his current litigation. What's the situation? You may have seen this guy. He appears on Jimmy Fallon, or he used to before the impending litigation Mm -hmm. and before his, you know, the case that they hang on him. This interview is like five and a half minutes. It's terrific. (laughs) All right, let's start off. What do you want to talk about? What happened today? Well, went straight out of Dogtown, skateboarding, surfing it up. Before I say anything else, I want to say no matter what you've done, you deserve respect. Even if you make mistakes, you're lovable. And it doesn't matter your look, skills, or age, or size, or anything, you're worthwhile. No one could ever take that away from you. Now, <laughs> this stuff right here, I was driving in, I was, well, I was in the passenger side of this fucking car. <laughs> Wait, were you driving or were you in the passenger side? There. He was over by the recycling center. He says, oh, when I was in the Virgin Islands 30 years old on a business trip, I, 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 uh, I, I fucked this 14-year-old. I was like, you what? He's like, I raped this 14-year-old. He starts crying and gives me a big hug. He's just like, fuck, 300-pound guy. I'm like, oh, shit. He must be fucking, man. Like, what's he talking about? I didn't take him seriously that's, at first. Comes driving down this way. He's that's like, that's you know crazy. what? I've come to realize I'm Jesus Christ, and I can do anything I fucking want to. And watch this. Bam. And he smashed into this fucking guy right there, pinned him in between that fucking truck. And so I fucking, I hop out, I look over, the guy's pinned there. I mean, like, freight train riders know this. Like, if you get pinned between something, do not fucking move that shit. I'm going to bleed out. Like, motherfucker, I, I ran in, I grabbed the keys. He's fucking sitting there like nothing even happened. And, like, fucking, like, man, if you started driving that car around again, man, there would have been a hell of a lot of bodies around here. Fucking, I hop on out. And so I grab the bag, I threw it over by that pole right there. And then fucking buddy gets out, and these two women are trying to help him. He runs up and he grabs one of them, man. Like a guy that big can snap a woman's neck like a pencil, pencil stick. stick. So I fucking wow. ran up behind him with a hatchet. Smash, <laughs> smash, smash. What? Yeah. The, the lady said you saved her life. She was the one who got grabbed by that fucker. You know what? Fuck is cool. That guy ain't. <laughs> Shit. How, how'd, you, how'd you get in his car? How, how did you? I was hitchhiking. I was, well, good thing I was hitchhiking. Yeah, people say, don't hitchhike. Well, this is what happens. Well, yeah, well, at least I was here. So he did this on purpose? Dude, that guy was fucking cooked out, man. Like, he's beyond howling. Like, I don't even see any breath wow. in him, you know what I'm saying? Can, can I get your name and where you're from, if you don't mind? I'm Kai. Straight Kai, can I get your spelling for you? Straight out of Dogtown, K-A-I. K-A-I, do you have a last name? 
No, no bro, I don't have anything. <laughs> where, where, where are you from originally? Are you from Fresno area? Sophia, West uh, Virginia. Uh, West Virginia. How old are you? I can't call it. Okay. What have you ever experienced anything like today? And what made you take the actions that you did? That woman was in danger. He just finished uh, what looked like at the time killing somebody. And if I hadn't have done that, he would have killed more people. So he's dead. Good. <laughs> he's dead. Good. Wow. There was one time I was in an orchard and this fucking guy starts starts. Well, what he goes on to say is that, <coughs> excuse me, that he said, it, well, has anything like this ever happened to you before? What you would normally say would be a retarded question from a reporter. But Kai was just getting worked up. He <laughs> said, yeah, one time I was in an orchard. Let and me see if I can start it up again. Okay. No, I don't know what's done. Uh, well, there's one time anyway. he was in an orchard and he found this guy and uh, he was... Oh, here we go. He calls his. So I walked on over and I started smashing him in the head. I can't, you see all these you see all these teeth marks right here for the camera? Yeah, I started smashing him in the head and in the teeth, busted out all his teeth. Motherfucking the sheriffs, not the policy enforcers, fucking show up and start like uh, they're like, yeah. So what what happened? I mean, like, uh, just give me any old name and just give me old uh, fucking birthday, whatever. Just. Yeah. What happened today after? after so this is the second time he's had to smash somebody up, and uh, the reason I brought this up is s such a great clip. Smash, smash, smash. Smash. So he pulls out a hatchet, but what's interesting about that is that yeah, and like this guy got really famous after this, and you know, like I said, he he was doing bits on Jimmy Kimmel. And um, I guess maybe last week, week before last, I see on MSN that Kai is arrested. And he's arrested for murder. So I found out, I read into the story, and what happened is that he was either in Central Park or, uh, um, I think he was in Central Park is where the guy picked him up, and uh, or Times Square, one of the two, I'm not sure, and offered him a place to sleep. This is Kai's version of the story. And uh, or what they reported, and then he came home. Maybe had a drink with the guy. I don't know. The reports were that they had had sex or something, but he says he woke up the next morning, and he felt drugged, groggy, and sore, and so <laughs> and so he went and got his hatchet and murdered the guy. And his quote and his quote was, "Well, what would you do if you woke up uh, groggy, drugged, and sore?" You would go, and he smashed him up. So there's no telling how many murders that this guy is responsible for or <laughs> how many people he is dealing out hatchet justice. You can, tweet, you, can tweet, wow. you can tweet the show at hatchet justice. At wow. Hatchet justice. Hashtag hatchet, hatchet justice. Holy crap. This guy is, like, really, like, hitchhiking across the country, and now he's famous. Straight out of Dogtown. He's got a hatchet in that backpack. <laughs> so just remember who you're picking up out there, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot Good advise Lord. anyone to pick up a hitchhiker, even though he's a kind-hearted soul. Because if you wrong him, he's going to smash, smash, smash. Wow. Oh, look. <laughs> I think the guy needs his own reality TV show, like Hatchet Justice. With <laughs> Hatchet Justice. This week on Hatchet Justice with oh Kai. We're gonna smash this dude. Smash, so, smash. So like I was I out in Dogtown, dude. I was out in Central Park, man, talking about a surfing boy. Talking My about butt sore. Smash. It's not the kind of what I was talking about with the butthole surfers. I'm sorry, I just don't get out there. <laughs> wow. Clip of the week, ladies and gentlemen. There's other clips of this guy on here. Oh yeah, there's he's got quite a collection now. He's quite famous. Well, I mean, what he got four million views on that clip right there. I mean, that's, yeah, that's not bad. Wow. Let's look at this one. Be a pleasant surprise. It's a different interview. It's a update. Exclusively talks again to Kai, the hatchet wielding hitchhiker. <laughs> I will snap your neck like a pencil. I will snap you like a pencil stick. <laughs> oh, we our viewers love that clip. 
They say no no clip will ever top Kai from Dogtown. Smash, smash, Look who smash. we have. It is everyone's new best friends. And, hey, it's almost fair to say a world-class hero here. Yeah, you know, we'll have to try to work out a few bugs there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. We'll work out anyway. some stuff and show you some clippage. We'll, we'll get back to Kai, but, you know, I'm sure Kai probably has a Twitter account, although he doesn't have a phone, so he, does, he, doesn't, <laughs> uh -uh. He, he, he doesn't tweet a lot. His, his uh, hashtag hatchet is, I believe, how you can... Anyway. Hatchet. But anyway, yeah. that's Kai, and he's straight out of Dogtown. Jesus. So he is facing, um, I guess, a, I, I guess a murder rap. What a loon! I mean, I guess I could search Kai and see what came up with that. If I just do K A I on the wiki search, <laughs> see what we get. Kai, the hatchet wielding hitchhiker. <laughs> this week on Hatchet Justice with Kai. <laughs> So I think we need to start a reality show with this kid, man. That every week he deals out justice to people who <laughs> drug him. Kai, Jeez Louise. It says Kai name, including lists of those with a surname or given name. A Turkish tribe to which the ruling family of the Ottoman Empire. Oh, yes, the Kai. The Kai. Japanese professional wrestler Atsuki Sakai. Celebrity. Huh. Oh, no. Caleb Lawrence McGalvery, a hitchhiker that goes by the name of Kai. That's him. Caleb Lawrence Mc, McGilvery. Let's pull him up. So if he's from West Virginia, how is he straight out of Dogtown? He's Caleb Lawrence. And I don't even know how you say this last name. You all That's help a good me question. It. I don't know. It's M-C-G-I-L-L-V-A-R-Y. McGilvery. McGilvery. Okay, born in 88. Also known as Kai, the hatchet-wielding hitchhiker. <laughs> and Caleb Kai Lawrence Yod Hawaii. Yod Hawaii. Is a Canadian man initially known for his using a hatchet to defend himself against a man claiming to be Jesus. He is also a <laughs> suspect in a New Jersey murder. <laughs> wow. That was a good update. Thanks. Yeah. Kai. <laughs> street <laughs> justice with Kai. Today on Street Justice, he was like... All he was all cooked out. Okay, here Dude. we here we go. <laughs> Fuck is cool. On May, on May 16th, this just happened on May 16th, 2013, an arrest warrant was issued for McGilvery for suspicion of the murder of New Jersey attorney Joseph Galfi Jr., who had been discovered dead inside his home in Clark, New Jersey. Wow. McGilvery was arrested on May 16th at a Philadelphia bus terminal by the Philadelphia police after he was identified by a Starbucks employee. That's the guy from YouTube. <laughs> you're you're the you're the hatchet wielding hitchhiker. <laughs> his ba his bail was set at three million. Wow. He's being he's a not a flight risk. Why does it need to be that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he would just? I don't think he would hop a bus or anything. I don't know where the West Virginia came in because it says he's from, from Edmonton, Canada. Alberta. He's from Canada, apparently. God damn! That's why we need to seal our borders. Everybody's worried about the Mexican borders, and they're not worried about the Canadian hatchet wielding <laughs> invaders. Straight out of Dogtown, and Dogtown is in California. I thought. I mean, well, am, I, am I wrong, or is it someplace else? Maybe that's where he's. Maybe that's where he's shocking up. Where is Dogtown? Actually? All right. Anybody know Dogtown? Uh, Holy crap! They think that this guy was like on a string of homicides across the United States from Philadelphia and like other places too. Look, let's watch this video about Ooh. it. Ooh. All right, let's try. Like, Breaking I'm, news. That is crazy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to give it a shot. Hit it. To go, we learned who police are searching for the murder of a lawyer in Clark, New Jersey. It's a story you'll see only here on Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Lipoff live in Elizabeth on this exclusive story. Phil? Yeah, and Ken, we've been working this exclusive story now for a couple of days. Wow, we've been talking that's crazy. To authorities. We can now report exclusively that there has been an arrest warrant issued in the murder uh, of the, uh, the, the the Clark the man Clark that you were talking about, this man. popular Clark, attorney, Jersey. Joseph Galfi, was found uh, dead in his home Monday night. Wait until you hear who they are looking for. This is a story that goes from Fresno, California, all the way to Clark, New Jersey. Police are from Fresno, California, all the way to Clark, New Jersey. Authorities McGilvery. are looking for a man known as Caleb Lawrence McGilvery. 
Uh, you might also know him as Ty, <laughs> the hatchet-wielding hitchhiker. He was a YouTube sensation, even made Jimmy Kimmel's show after he was a hero out in Fresno. He took a ride from a man who apparently lost it and tried to kill another man with his car. Kai grabbed That's a hatchet out of himself. his backpack that like, he had. Yeah, what, the situation? Yeah. He looks like Lily Tomlin. Man, he became he a hero, even went to court that is an Fresno ugly to man. testify against the man. He saved a man's life. He became this Lily YouTube Tomlin's sensation. Lily Tomlin's an ugly woman, too. Uh, made the round on the talk shows, and now... Three months later, after becoming a hero in Fresno, California, authorities say he wound up in Clark, New Jersey, in Mr. Galfi's home, and somehow is responsible for his death. We do know Mr. Galfi died from blunt force trauma. There was a welfare blunt check. Authorities trauma, went to his house hatchet, uh, to, hammer to, to, to hatchet. check on him. When they got there, he was dead. Now, just a couple of days later, they are looking for this Kai. He goes by several different names, but he's mostly known as Kai. He has a Facebook page. We'll get more into that he a little bit Facebook later on in the day. They say he's probably <laughs> cut his long hair now. He has shorter hair. He should be considered armed and dangerous. They don't know where he is. He relies on strangers, the generosity of strangers for food and lodging. Remember, he's a hitchhiker. He could be anywhere. But they he's have on issued the run? an arrest warrant for him. No, they, they are looking him for him. We are going to get more information in just about an hour. Yeah, he said he's being held in... Uh, Union County Jail in Elizabeth, New Jersey. He may have been on a string of other murders. I guess, or just maybe that it's because it goes from Fresno all the way to New so Jersey. Yeah, so yeah, he was in a coast. Vi- was in a what? A vineyard? It says he was yeah in a vineyard. But I don't think he killed that guy. I think in the vineyard he just beat the guy down for uh, he, he smashed him up or daubed him up as he says for uh, beating on his old lady. Oh. So maybe he is like a like a vindicator, you know? He's he's justice. It is justice. So he's a Canadian X Men. He's that would be vigilante. Alpha Flight. A hitchhiking vigilante. That was some nerd shit right there. You didn't hear that. Com- I did, comic book nerd shit. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even Can, hear it. The Canadian X Men were Alpha Flight. That the, was the name the, of the uh, team. The, the oh, they had a Canadian yes. X Men. Actually, and Wolverine was in Alpha Flight for a while. He was he's Canadian. You know that, right? So he oh, was yeah. he was too cool, so they kicked him out. Oh, he's a badass man. He's Wolverine. But yeah, they had a dude. They had a dude in a in a in a in a maple leaf. You know, Hugh Jackman really played a, oh. a good Wolverine. He did well. Did a good job. I mean, looks just like what you would imagine. He did well. I mean, speaking of Jimmy Kimmel, it's on right now. I hey, would love it if, if he's like, and on tonight, we're going to have Kai. The murdering. <laughs> <laughs> the murdering. The hatchet-wielded murderer. <laughs> he's Skyping us right now from from, jail. from Union County, New Jersey. <laughs> God, we would fall out of the woodshed if that really took that place. Happen. Right. So let me change the subject a little bit and throw something interesting out there that I did learn when I was in New Orleans. New Orleans. As they say. Take a little trip. Um, you know, to Nicholas, of New Orleans. we went, we, uh, were on the tour, double decker bus on top, you know, all lathered up in sunscreen, Gar- like Garden you District should be. Thing. Ah. Or was it the actual Bourbon Street one? Uh, it goes through all of it. Yeah. Like Garden District. Uh, so it, uh, did you ride, did you ride the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the streetcar named Desire, <laughs> the, uh, the, what is it called? The, the, the trolley. St. Charles trolley. Yeah. Is that oh, it? Charles, no, yeah. we did not. It looked um it it looked sweaty. I stayed there one day and I was down there once and I rode that took it to the garden district and it broke down on us and people use that. It's it's not like tourists aren't, aren't on that. It's some tourists and mostly not. Yeah. There's a lot of people going to their jobs at the hospital and shit. Like so Where were, were you running up and down um so Canal the, Street there? No, 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 no. No. This one runs off of Canal uh to the Garden District and through um uh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking touches about. The quarter, <laughs> touches the quarter, goes to the Garden District. So anyway. On the way to the uh Garden District, there's uh you go by the Saint James Cemetery, that's the real mm-hmm. famous cemetery down uh-huh. there. And yep. uh that's I think that's where they filmed Easy Rider. And yes. if you if you love Easy Rider like I do, things. that's the uh, that's the part where I usually don't watch or fast forward it through the because they're they're tripping. Yeah, it's all weird and they're naked and the chicks aren't really that hot. It's just right. kind of it's <laughs> raining and muddy and I don't know I don't like it. But uh, <laughs> Nicholas Cage, I saw his tomb there. It's very nice. Nicholas Cage. Huh? Nicholas Cage's tomb is in St James Cemetery. Wow, it's very big. It's one of the I mean it's pointed out they're like and that's they pointed Nicholas it out Cage. from the tour bus. Wow. Um, wow. We have another request um, mm. for the final song, Ace of Bass. 
<laughs> See, that's but, what I'm talking about. But we could get some good requests in there. I, I like that one. But I can't that play. Was funny. I can't play the whole fucking catalog. I mean, nah. which Ace of Base song do you yeah. want? Yeah. Duh. I think. Duh. I think what? By default, you the have to sign? do. I saw the exactly. sign. Exactly. But what's the other one? They had to. another one too. Oh yeah, I don't uh, remember. Let me check that out because they had another one. Yeah. So you think it's the sign? Then is what we should play. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if we can really do that, but um, another interesting thing that I learned in New Orleans is that if you are the term Cajun, yes, describes anybody from Louisiana or Louisiana, as they say. Louisiana. It. But if you're Creole, you're from New Orleans. That's yes. right. I didn't really know that. French Creole. Did they talk about the Acadians? No. That came down from... Locusts? No. 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 no those um, cicadas. We saw... <laughs> different. <laughs> different. The Acadians were the people that, 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 that came down from, like, got, ran out of Nova Scotia and came down into the bayou and became the Cajuns. And oh, they had their, yeah. their French accents and their, their little... Their lobsters followed them down, but the uh, trip was so long, they turned into crawfish by the time they got there. They were so small. But, um, that's, that's their boom, legend, boom. man. I love I love some New Orleans, man. I love some crawfish. You know, here's something interesting some about... Crawdaddies. We had a shrimp boil this weekend. Oh, how nice. was that? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just still interested in hearing more about this double-decker tour bus. Did yes, you, yes. Did Continue you see uh, John Goodman's New Orleans. home in New Orleans? No, they mentioned that he did have a home there. Mm-hmm. We, we saw uh, did they do Anne Rice, Anne Rice's, yeah. Sandra Bullock's home, Sandra cool. Bullock's home, and the house where they filmed um, the Jeopardy. Curious Case of Benjamin, Benjamin Button. Button. Okay, yeah. Did you do any of the ghost tours or anything like that? No, but I do have an interesting thing. They talked about how it's very haunted there, of and course. there was one house down there, and I can't remember the name of the madam, Madame Louvet, maybe something like that. It's pretty close. And she was... Uh, married into money mm-hmm. and when her house caught on fire they found the slaves they found yeah. all the slaves up in the uh, attic that they yeah. had been doing experiments on and you know there were there were some that were all hacked up and some of them had you know their foot sewn to their stomach trying to grow at the ankle trying to grow a new foot and the one girl who ran small girl ran to her death and jumped and supposedly you can see her several times throughout the year run across the roof and jump off. Nice. And that house turned into several different things. Another interesting... It is a private residence now, I believe. That's crazy. Yeah. The last time I was there was a private residence. And they had signs up, this is not a public place. This is a private residence. Please move along. Wow. I guess people come and, you know, want to look in the windows and shit. Right. It's like, that's my fucking house. Quit. They want to see something. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get to go to John they're, Lafitte's? They're still John ri- Lafitte's? They're still riding on the wad. They're saying the wad wants to start a movement with free Kai t-shirts. We can put I Love Detroit on the back of them. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when they rag on the guest, and the, that's funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We have people trolling the woodshed. We'll see. We'll see there, the man <laughs> Onan 11. Oh, uh, here's the, another thing that's interesting. I with, mean, really, uh, you can't. Uh, he's a, the 11th one. There wasn't. Oh, like, there's been many before many him. Many before him. Yeah. <sighs> like that clip from. Uh, I don't have time for you. I'm, I can't remember which Mel Brooks it is. Were you talking about this the other night, Robbie? Which uh, one? Doc, where he, uh, he comes out and he's like, I present to you the 15 commandments. And yeah. He, he drops one of the tablets. Well, and he's like, talking about uh, Mel Brooks. Yeah. Uh, the 10 commandments. The he's 10. Com- Ten Commandments. But uh, a lot of <laughs> a lot of terms came out of New Orleans. Um, the term crib, that was a smaller house of ill repute. The term ah, blue book, they would the re- they actually book. handed out blue books that had the price of the names uh, of courtesans. Yeah, and it went from five cents up to no, I'm sorry, ten cents up to ten dollars. Damn. And she and, uh, could find her at so and so address. A lot of the uh, houses. Um, the girls were re- referred to. Uh, many of them were French or French, ca- uh, or Cadian, yeah, Cajun, whatever you want to call it, and they were referred to as Jezebel. And a l- at a lot of the houses, they had many more suitors than they had who was who is. So you had to wait at the bar. So they started putting bands in there. Uh-huh. So they would usually have a three-piece band, and the band just started taking the name of the Jezebels and became Jazz. Jazz, and that's where Jazz came from. Interesting. Or my tour guide was lying. That's because I had a good story, though. I told that story to someone just today, and he said that when he was back in school, he did a paper on the history of jazz, and that that ain't in there. 
Yeah, huh. but he could have left out something or missed it. I mean, he didn't tell me what grade he got. I mean, it, he could he could have got a fucking ass. Also, yeah, where, where did he do his research? Right, and you know, mm-hmm. this guy Wikipedia? had a lazy eye, to be honest with Wikipedia? you. Wikipedia, <laughs> because I, I can change that shit. You know, that's you know. what I hear people saying all the time that right. you know I can change Wikipedia. It's, it's actually it's, fairly reliable, man. I mean, if you're willing to do the research, if you read something on Wikipedia and you're like, that sounds like bullshit. There's no citations. Use your fucking better judgment, right. you know. But if they have a lot of fucking references and 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 you can good, well documented citations, right? It's it should a be lot reli- of them consider it reliable. A and those the do. people that fucking are Wikipedia geeks they put time are hardcore man. They don't yeah. they don't fuck around. Now there's a lot of areas that don't get a lot of attention and people can abuse it. But sure. But I mean, I'll tell you this as a semi historian. Um, that a lot of the textbooks we have and we use are wrong. Uh-huh. So, I mean, to for Wikipedia to need a little bit of a, you know, a, a trim or an adjustment here and there, it's better than a freaking textbook being but wrong. It's, but but it's, it happens, it's though. In That's a what people do. They get onto Wikipedia. They log in and they edit stuff and make it right. Yes, exactly. Or uh, they, they object. The to they object that. to a content. They go, right. Wait a minute. He didn't cite a source the, on that. And the administrators go on there and they fix it and they change it or they delete it. Or the, well, they no, you, they don't delete. Usually, what they do, unless it's a an obvious like malicious attack, right? You know, like somebody got on your Wikipedia page and, Which and, and, and said, "Yeah, it happens all the time." Right. Uh, they won't change it, and if it's you put something out there and it sounds biased or it sounds you don't have a citation or it sounds like it's coming from your point of view and not a neutral in in pov is there the mantra at wikipedia neutral right. point of view np in mpov and if you don't adhere to it all things they'll considered. call you out on it it may take some debate on it and that kind of shit but usually it's in a sense democratic you can go on there and you go that information is wrong and i know better because i can cite it in the source and disprove or not disprove but but correctly identify something you know, because you've made up something. Right. It's like, no, no, no. Somebody else so has written da- about this, and and uh, I can back it up. You know, the Dow was, at around lunchtime today, was down 150 points. It looks like it closed out just to under uh, 100 point, 108 points down. Are we Damn. still above 15? Yep. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I can't believe we're above. We got to get some jobs, man. That's the big thing. That's making you know, everything scary. Somebody needs to invent the internet or the cell phone. <laughs> or uh, that, that would be people. good. Either get one on of those. Um, even a, we need an invention that will spawn an industry like the internet or the cell phone, right? Or the telephone, teleportation, or the VCR, or you know the fucking easy bake oven would probably help. <laughs> I mean, something to uh, get everybody back. To we need some, uh, and I don't know. I mean, it seems like that there's options out there. I'm just not sure that we're exploiting all of them. What's this dumbass doing? He lit his car on know. fire? Yes. Jimmy Kimmel's doing something to us over here. He's out there with a gas can in his garage. And Is he showing a YouTube clip? Yeah, yeah, and he lit gasoline, and now they're trying to put it out with water and fanning it with a shirt. The f- smoke detector's going That's off in the background. You're scaring the dog. You know Jimmy Kimmel's looking uh, slender these days. Whatever yeah. he's lost some weight. He's lost some weight. Whatever he's doing, everybody needs to get on board meth. with that. <laughs> I'm slandering him right now. It doesn't he's even. Doing meth. He doesn't even look anything like when he was on the Man Show. No. So the Man Show was great. Was taken over by Kimmel and, and Adam Carolla after Stanhope and no. Rogan quit. No, it's the yeah, other way around. No, yeah, it's the other way around. Totally the other way around. It was. I, I honestly thought you died. were joking when you said that. <laughs> yeah, the, the fox died while Jimmy Kimmel and Adam Carolla were still doing the show. That's correct. Ziggy Zaggy. Ziggy Zaggy. Uh, he, uh, when he died, they, like, they were bummed about it. They were so bummed that they didn't even want to do the show anymore. Oh yeah. really? And uh, but there was other things involved. They were too, getting so. offers too, though. They were right. starting to get some offers. Right. So Both that's that's when and and uh, apparently Kimmel more so than Carolla. Adam. <laughs> right. But Adam Carolla does an excellent podcast, by the way. I love the man, and just about I any show. He that, even had like a Adam home Carolla. improvement show that was really fucking good. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Tool Time. <laughs> no, the Adam Carolla <laughs> re- project remodel. Whatever it was, thing. a re- a Reno show yeah, that he did, show. and it was. It was, it was pretty was entertaining. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was He's great. just an entertaining guy. But 
I, I even liked the man show when mm-hmm. Rogan and, and Stan Hope Stan took Hope, over. Yeah. I thought those guys were hilarious. That, uh, and that was back then. That's but, good you know, bits. I think I mean, I've been listening to Joe Rogan since then. I think it was really well suited for Rogan, but Stan Hope is so, you know, you can't. He is crazy. You can't. Putting, I mean, I like him, and I, I, this is actually an endorsement of him. I like you can't put him yeah. in an environment like that because it's you're muzzling him. I know? never watched. He that. has to right. muzzle himself, and it's just right. it's just not worth it. You so, can't put him right. Exactly, it's yeah. not worth it to see that without him. Yeah, being he's, the he's like, I know, I'm not being as funny as I can be because right. I can't. I think you're right. Say what I want to say. See, I never watched the Man Show when it was Corolla and uh, that like was great. Kimmel shit. until it was Rogan and Stanhope. Wow. Yeah, and uh, I just, I mean, I remember watching or listening to Love Line with Dr. Drew and Adam Corolla. Corolla made that show. Dr. When, Drew uh, was a good dynamic, but Corolla was hilarious. We used to listen to that in the dorms on yeah. Sunday night. It's like you'd hit the Grateful Dead hour, and then it was time to go up to Catherine and Suzanne's room and watch Love Line. Yeah. It's a shout out to Catherine and Suzanne, wherever you are tonight. Probably. Huh. Probably somewhere not in a woodshed. <laughs> wow, here's a cool one. Check this out. Louisville researcher closing in on printing 3D hearts. What do you guys think of 3D printing things? They're working on the 3D, 3D meat printing too. thing. Yeah. Maybe the new um, invention, new the new invention that will spawn an industry. I think it is. I think that uh, 3D it, printer is basically a machine that will build you what you want. It's it's totally I, <laughs> I actually obtained a, a model, the, one of those 3D models, yeah. in, uh, that was designed in uh, 3D Max. Yeah. Uh, it, of a uh, of a handgun that nice. you can print out the different pieces to and put together. And, oh, I saw that. I saw that. And it uh, was made of the 3D printed plastic. Yep. And that's crazy. Like, and I even opened it up and looked at the model of the gun. And how you put each piece together. Right, right. It's amazing. Nice. Like, you're, you're talking about you'll get, like, ten good shots out of it? Yeah, yeah, it's but disposable. It. It's disposable. That's totally then. it. Yeah. The man O'Nan says that he's the Donnie Baker of the Woodshed podcast. <laughs> yeah, he is. I agree with that. Uh, I was in a band. That's awesome. Called <laughs> Pig Amortis. Pig Amortis. For a while, and then we broke up, and I, we were in Moose Knuckle. Moose Knuckle. And Knuckle's then uh, good. Richie got that job over at the packing plant. You know the funny thing is, is everybody in this room <laughs> knows knows a Donnie Baker dude. I mean, right? That's what that's what makes him so great, makes that character so great, because he's just I fucking I, used to party in cornfields with a with, dude exactly like Donnie Baker. I thought you were going to say with Donnie Baker. Well, yeah, I mean, it might have might as well have been. Might as well have been for sure out there out there at Tank Hill or out in Hill <laughs> or Green or Flanagan's. <laughs> we used to drive to Flanagan's and go go over the ropes, man. Go over the ropes, man. We go over the ropes, get some schlitz. That does sound like Donnie Baker. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was over there. He was over there. That's when he had his El Camino. <laughs> That's pretty good. The only thing we were missing was a strip club for his mom, Phyllis. Well, I'll uh, tell you what. She had to go to Evans. It would be more there. fun when we get the man, O'Nan, on the woods. I think I need to be here when O'Nan. Yeah. Here. I'll tell you where that. there's a lot I don't of have, totally do see, that. My battery's failing on my phone. I can't, I can't tweet back. That's, be yeah, that's what and it I'm is. On, it's I'm, because of his battery. I'm not, it's not, right. not on the network. It's not because he's. Slow us down. It's not because he's losing. Yeah, it's not because he's out of material he's or really, he's lost. He's really it's like busting my he hasn't balls. even. The bell's already ringing the round. He's losing. He's just still punching after the bell. <laughs> he's, the wad is Twitter flustered. I'm ruining the show. <laughs> he's trying to clear the cobwebs. He's swinging at air. He's Twitter got, flustered. He's got the wobble legs. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you where there's a lot of. Uh, Whorehouses is New Orleans on Bourbon Street. Wow. Yeah. You know, there's. Did you a, go to any of the actual. Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't make it any. I wanted to go in the cabaret because I'm not sure exactly what happens in a cabaret. Mm-hmm. And I was willing to go into that, but the wife piece uh, couldn't pull it off. I tried. I tried to talk to her in. I tried to talk to her in. I actually went in, into one of those places that featured a live sex act on, on stage. I saw with the my, sign with my wife this, that said live sex act. Yes. And I was afraid it was a donkey show, and I don't no, want to see that. It was not a donkey show. It was human? Yeah, it was a guy and a girl, and we actually left before they did anything because apparently we got there a little early, and they were all a little put off that they had to go on. And what? And there was only like four of us there at the time. Weird. Very uncomfortable so, for everyone. Yeah, so they were like, God, we're not going to make any fucking money, and they were pissed off about it. So we wound up just saying, fuck this. 
and just uh, walked out. Bailed out, man. Yeah. And there were like two people there after that? No, because we were there with the other couple. <laughs> so we everybody left. left. So how uncomfortable was that for everyone? It was weird, man. If we could have been anonymous in that crowd, it would have been. I would have probably stayed. But there was nothing but a, a sheet between them and us. And my, me and my wife and my good friend of mine and his wife sitting at a table with our cocktails. We should go ahead and tell you right off the bat they are swingers. <laughs> we do do kinky parties. As in to swing. Uh, not really. Well, I mean, we're not sure, but they're not openly anymore. No. Rarely do they do it. Okay, he's a top. That's all. I am a power top. <laughs> I am a power top. But that's a weird town. God, I don't wish go, could, Dude, my phone is dead. It will dead. go bodega. And then where they're selling everything from voodoo dolls to lighters to see, yeah. See, I was wondering about the voodoo element with that. And New Orleans is kind of known for the having that voodoo attached yeah. to Did it. Did you a go to bit. Marie Laveau's in the United States? Yeah, no, Marie Laveau. I, she well, she's the voodoo queen of New Orleans, voodoo, uh-huh. right? Voodoo queen of New Orleans. I went uh-huh. to the Marie Laveau place. Saw one of her little little uh, altars there. No, you know we hit the French market. We saw the, like the French. Do you market. know the super? The Superdome there is yep. now the Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz dome, yeah. mm-hmm. Because the guy who owns the Superdome also owns several Mercedes-Benz dealerships. <laughs> and he, he parks If you ask me, that's a terrific fun. sponsorship. What a great sponsorship. If the anybody out there that owns a Mercedes-Benz dealership, because this could be the Mercedes-Benz woodshed. Yeah. Ooh. The Mercedes Benz cool. Woodshed podcast. And you know I would drive a Mercedes Benz. Yeah, Benz-Benz. maybe they would want to, you know, loan us uh, one of their, you know, brand new 2013 coupe. I, I would be okay with that. <laughs> yeah. You know, It'd I thought nice. that the French Quarter would be bigger. It's not. It's not huge. You it's can walk it in a day, pretty much. It's yeah. not huge. In the Bourbon Street area, you could walk in 30 minutes easy. Did you Did you go to John Lafitte's uh, blacksmith shop? Yeah, that's the old uh, pirate yeah. bar, right? Yeah. It's I did a, not. It's one of the oldest buildings in the quarter. Uh-huh. It is a bar. Did you not can go, go there. in there and drink, and yeah. it is pretty special. Just went around it is, the Bourbon it's Street area. It's supposed to be the oldest establishment in New Orleans. I Probably I the so. last one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Saw it's the, from uh, the 17 something yeah. or so. You know, early New, New Orleans is not a big town. It's only no. uh, 350,000. Yeah. Well, and after post Katrina. Post Katrina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Prior to Katrina, but in New Orleans proper, they're saying 350. Yeah. Okay. One thing that we did see that was really, really interesting Nutrias? was... Nutrias? No. There's a uh, probably... <laughs> Those are gross. <laughs> Those are fucking weird, man. There's probably... Uh, what is that? The large rat? Yes. Yeah, the, the, the invasive yeah. species rat. Are you familiar with the rat king? Yes. What? I know what the rat king is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with the rat king. Did you see that on the last show? Yeah. No, oh, crazy. you guys talked about a rat king? Yeah, yeah. we showed a picture of it. It was disgusting. Okay. Terrible. Maybe it was a, really a new tr- a king. But <sighs> in downtown New Orleans, there's a probably 40-story building, office building. It was built in the 60s. Mm-hmm. And in the uh, 70s and 80s, they were noticing that and a lot of people that work here are getting sick and uh, getting cancer and different things. And so in the 90s, they found out that it was full of asbestos. Yeah. So they shut the building down, closed it down, sent everybody home, all the, you know, everybody moved. So now they got this open office building. So they go in, they gut it. They take out all the asbestos, and they just down to the shell. And then, so they try to sell it. And I think when they built the building, it was they built it for maybe, you know, $10 million in, we'll say, 1968. Mm-hmm. So this is 1990-something, maybe 96. So they try to sell the billing for uh, fifty million dollars. I think they put it on put it on the market. No offers. Wow. Go back down to twenty five million. No offers. Twenty million. Ten million. Five million. No offers. They put it on auction, and that building sold for something like six hundred thousand dollars. It's a forty story office building in downtown New Orleans, and there's Damn. nobody in it. I mean, it's a large building. It sticks out, It's and it's weirdly wow. shaped. It's kind of shaped like a Roos Chris. <laughs> so, so if you see the Roos Chris in New Orleans, that's that's not what you think it is. Don't go there wow. for steak. Nice. They'll end, they just serve asbestos. Wow. I love that dirty town, man. You just can love that town. Just over half a million dollars I'm a big, for a 40-story building. 40-story building, yeah. That's pretty wild. <clears throat> I actually got to stay out in the, uh, in the bayou. Uh-oh. At a place called Woodland Plantation in West Point, Alahatchie. Did Big Daddy live there? 
No, but this. Uh, <laughs> but, I like should I treat him, Big but, Daddy? But you gentlemen have seen this plantation before. Django was different than the others. You've seen this plantation before. If you've ever seen a bottle of Southern Comfort, the huh. plantation that I stayed at is the plantation that is on the label on a bottle of Southern Comfort. It's called Woodland Plantation, West Point, Allahatchie, right there on the le- like. We could we walk to the levee every morning, me and my me and my wife, and did a little stroll down the levee, watch the alligators and the the gators. We had the some, gators, uh, and we watched the we, we watched the barges. The barges head there. down the river, down the Mississippi. It was pretty special. We saw the miss the old man, the the mighty Mississippi. <laughs> I'll tell you man. what the Mississippi does is if you go to the Gulf Coast, is once you get to Mobile, the water changes colors. Yes. And so Mobile, Biloxi, New Orleans, all of that, you are not going to get the beautiful waters that you're going to get in Gulf Shores, mm-hmm. Pensacola, mm-hmm. Panama City. There's no beach. There's no break. No, there's there's, there's beach. They have bar- barrier islands in Biloxi, this maintenance guy that was talking to us. and But the beach in Biloxi, I walked probably 200 yards out in the ocean, and it wasn't even knee deep. Wow. I've never seen anything like it. Wow. Never seen anything like it. It was crazy. All right. Well, let's totally uh, tally up the uh, total for the for the ex- for the exit. Let's do it. Right now we've got. We've got. It looks like that it may be. We can't really do the ace of base. Who voted for that? I mean, seriously, was that just? Was that the man? The man on man. Please, and it's, my phone is completely dead. See, look, I just pressed the button and it restarted. Uh, it's dead. I can't tweet. Oh, Nan, I just want you to know. Slash, that, slash, yeah, that, not a fair fight. Or not slash, but pound, not a fair fight. That's what it is. It's, it's not because he can't think of anything. I am. I'm slow, but I'm not that slow. So I'm not slow enough. So are going to talk about the, uh, some of the violence that's going on in Syria and Lebanon right now? Yeah, we should. I mean... Syria, Lebanon. And they're talking about the guy that is the president in Syria now. He's talking about reelecting, running for reelection if the people want him to. In in where? Syria? Yeah, in Syria. Assad? Are they going to hold elections in the middle of a civil war? (laughs) Bashar al-Assad, yeah. They're going to have... They're going to have elections, and he's up for re-election. I wonder who will win. he's trying to say... (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) I'm kind of curious about that. You know... uh, we, uh, we we have a friend, uh, I'm not going to mention it, but uh, he was over in Lebanon. Really? And, we have uh, a friend of the podcast in Lebanon? Yeah. Um, over there. and uh, Oh, you're talking about the athlete. Yeah, the athlete. And uh, said that, you know, I was fo- following him on Twitter, and he said, you know, things are getting a little weird here. You know, he's yeah. been there a while. It's not like yeah. he's been there two weeks. It's been there several years, I believe. And uh, he said, you know, I'm actually getting a little nervous. And then the next what? tweet I get is, okay. Uh, Went to the airport, getting the hell out of here. That's pretty Yeah. Cool. So I think it was right around when they had that attack where it blew out that office building. and Right. You, and, uh, you know, they when they do that, though, they evacuate a bunch of hotels. And, like, who, they who, really round up American tourists and even people that are there The embassy is going to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. And they it's round them up. And, they, and they're like, you know, they're like, do you want to leave or do you want us to protect you? You know, and they're just like freaked out we can't we can't help you if you decide to stay is basically what they say a lot of times you're on your own listen you should probably leave yeah we're heading out you're saying a friend of the podcast that you were talking about here he left and he came home came home okay good good had to wait it out till things uh refresh my memory on this though they have to go through that refresh my memory on this who was it that okay this was in lebanon who was it that bombed into lebanon who did it was it was it hezbollah hezbollah the Syrian, and, the Syrian rebels, I believe, is who took. Uh, who shot? I thought it was Assad who shot into Lebanon. Okay, yeah, you're right. Is it? Syrian rebels threaten Hezbollah. The Syrian rebels are the ones that are rebelling against Hezbollah. Uh, correct. Yes. Hezbollah and the Syri- Syrian government forces have seized. Oh, Hezbollah is supporting the Syrian that's government. That's right. They, they and the rebels most said, of the strategically important town of Kusar near the Lebanese border. Gotcha. And so because they're so close to Lebanon, which we were talking about this, what is it? The capital of Syria is Damascus? Yes. I believe so. And you said the capital of Lebanon was? I think it's Tripoli. No. That, no. No. Is it? Tripoli is in Africa. Okay. 
Well, I'm not sure what the capital of Lebanon is. Tripoli is is in Libya. Libya, that's right. Not Lebanon. You can check me. I'm okay with that. Lebanon is... I should know this. It's well, Be- Beirut. A, Beirut. God. Yeah, Beirut. Beirut. And, and a lot of Hezbollah. people are saying that, that, that Iran is backing Hezbollah and yes. Syria's government. Yes. And the, check this out. Did you hear that, that Iran, they, there is a, they are suspecting Iranian terrorism in Mexico? Interesting. In, in all over Latin America? Interesting. Yeah, they're, they're being funded to do things did you, like that did in you Latin hear America. What, did you hear what the Russians have shipped to Syria? Missiles. But, 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 but. Missiles. But what types of missiles did they ship? Ballistic intercontinental no. champion missiles. No, 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 no. Service to air missiles. The rebel army has no air. Why would the Russians ship them surface to air missiles? Because they screwed them over. No. Damn so Russian. they can shoot down drones. So they can shoot down American planes. That's right. Or anybody. Anybody, anybody aiding the rebels' planes, any any control of the airspace will have to face Russian missiles. That's period, wild. period. So they're ref- they're really ramping up for World War Three out there. Let's do it. Oh, God. The wide says, "Let's." I'm do a it. hawk. No, I'm I not. Say, no, I'm I say, not. I say, "Let's not." No, I'm not. But I'll tell you what: we've got those fucking ruskies right where we want them. We could spank them we hard. We got them right where we want them. They there's they would, only a they billion be, of them. We got them right there's under. There's not a us. billion ruskies. I thought that no, uh, no. Stalin said that he had more Russians than Hitler had bullets. I'll tell you what. That's are, fine. Are we gonna get st- are we gonna get stalled at Stalingrad because of via the Russian winter? Are we gonna no, use no, no, the no, Russian no. winter to invade like the white? Because there's there's plenty of plenty plenty of people plenty. in Russia plenty. who don't like borscht. Who don't like? <laughs> yeah, they fucking hate it over there. Who don't like Comrade Putin? Comrade Putin. Putin, you are no good. For Vladimir, no good neck is he. Vladimir holds every office that he wants. Yes, every year he is the new czar. Comrade Vladimir changes czar office. Putin. What's he become? He will. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't Listen think to that, yourself. I don't think to uh, <laughs> to do that. To do the Vladimir Putin, you kind of got to do the Henry Kissinger a little the bit. Kissinger. You start with the Henry Kissinger. I am a war and we're, we're working with the North Vietnamese much better than the South Vietnamese. We're agreeing with our enemy much more than our allies. And then you add in a little Rushki to it. Rushki. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what, it sounds more like Slavic, too. you got to have a little Slav. A little in Germanic, your Slavic, Russian altogether. Holy Roman Empire type stuff. Chardonnay. <laughs> Shard- Chardonnay. 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 I think I said Chardonnay. Sh- sh- Chardonnay is a character of our comic it's like It's like Chardonnay and Champagne. Or... Charlemagne, if he was from Chardonnay, France, Vive la France. He was a he was a, he was the king of uh, which king one? Of the, king of the Francs, right? Yeah, which one Charlemagne. would that be? Chardonnay. Charles de Groza. Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle. Let my armies be the rocks and the trees and the birds That's of the sky. And the birds of the sky. I suddenly remembered my, my Charlemagne. Charlemagne. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounded like uh, Bane when you said that. Oh. oh. <laughs> Batman, I will break you in this prison with a very okay. nice day maybe, spa and <laughs> maybe cable not. television. Was, maybe maybe not that much after all. Maybe oh, come on, You got to do Bane justice, man. I really liked I, how Tom Hardy did Bane in the movie. I love Tom Hardy. Dude, I hate Bane. Suspect. Tom Hardy's a great actor, isn't he? Have you seen... Uh, have you seen... Lawless? No. Oh, his have, voice you seen, have you seen Bronson? Don't, Until don't you've seen, try. don't don't let Billy don't let Billy coax you. If you like Thomas Hardy, watch motherfucking Bronson. Don't let Bronson. him talk you into Bronson. True being story, good because it's, it's a true not. story. Have you seen Warrior? Warrior, uh, the fighting Come movie. Out and play, yeah. uh, that's the uh, MMA fighting movie. Uh-huh. Uh huh. No, I have not seen, seen it. it with Tom Hardy. He is in it. Oh man! And then Lawless. I have not seen with Lawless. Shia LaBeouf. What, Shia LaBeouf. What about? Yeah, I've seen Lawless. Oh, oh. He's he's Shia LaBeouf's older brother. Oh, yeah. He's the baddest character in the whole movie. I think that that movie really could have gone somewhere. I was interested for, and then I was just yeah. I was kind of I was maybe I was hoping for more. I th- I thought it was going to be like the 
the fabulous Baker Boys or one of those. See, I liked its down home nature. It was just a couple of moonshiners, you know. Yeah. And and whiskey makers. I can't stand Shia LaBeouf's southern accent, though. I don't, I don't know why I'm you not don't a big just fan of him. Why don't yeah, you just cast general. an actor from the South, right? Instead of having an actor doing a fake southern right. accent, right? Yeah. I mean they. Not, I mean, but I mean, I, I understand how good actors can be. I mean, you heard well, me. They had my, to have star quality for the movie. You just right. heard my Henry Kissinger, <laughs> and we are working with the North Vietnamese yes. much better than the South Vietnamese. And I ask you, Mister Nixon, what do you want from me? What do you want? <laughs> I'm already committing war crimes for you. That was not a good Kissinger. Well, no. Doc. Uh, I think we're going to put a bow on this thing and send it on down the river. Yeah. <laughs> Episode 10 Thanks at the Woodshed. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching on Ustream. Thanks. Special thanks, thanks to viewers. the WAD for oh. coming in tonight. Yeah, and absolutely. At the man, Onan11. For hey. Yeah. Getting Here's to you, buddy. Getting on the WAD. <laughs> I'm going to pay you back uh, as soon as my <laughs> phone charges up. That's... I'm sticking with but it. But you can do the end. same thing when he comes on the show. You oh, I will blast him. Right All right. Yeah. I've got the, uh, I've so, got the uh, final song awesome. queued up. Awesome. Just uh, d- check us out on, on uh, YouTube and watch these some of these shows. We're trying to get on uh, iTunes. We have to submit our show to, to be accepted into iTunes. Um, <laughs> YouTube. We're hopeful. Go, go on there. It's We're hopeful. The Woodshed Podcast. And uh, definitely subscribe to us on Facebook. Just type in The Woodshed and come up there. And uh, tell your friends to check it out and listen out. Uh, also, check out in. the Joe Rogan Experience, uh, yeah. the Monday Morning Podcast with uh-huh. Bill Burr. And mm. uh, the Church of What's Happening Now with Joey Coco Diaz. Uh, There's a lot of fun stuff. To Dan Carlin, Dan the Hardcore Carlin. History. Uh, the Adam Carolla Podcast yeah. is good. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's But so more many importantly, the Woodshed, the Woodshed po- Podcast. Woodshed. Exactly. From. Always come back so to the thanks Woodshed. thanks for tuning in. And uh, we really thanks appreciate uh, everybody listening to us i so, am uh, billy mitchell and i'm dr bouvoir we're gonna sign off here from the blue dolphin studios thank Thanks you for wad, coming in, from wad. Com- we appreciate it man always you man. gotta come back always. again All give right, us some people. more mandolin here we go and uh good night folks people are strange when you're a stranger faces look ugly when you're alone Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. Streets are uneven when you're down. When you're strained, faces come out of the rain. When you're strained, no one remembers your name. When you're strained, when you're strained.